Hey, and welcome to Forge by Geeks. Today we're with the Dresden Files. We've got the original designer, and I believe you're the project manager. I am indeed. And over here we have uh, the daughter of a uh, guy from Gamerati. Uh, he's the distributor for uh, both their game and my upcoming game, Defense Grid, the board game. So she will be joining us for this play session as well. Uh, why don't you uh, three introduce yourselves? So hi, I am Eric B. Vogel, uh, designer of the Dresden Files cooperative card game, as well as several other games, many of which have been published by Evil Hat Productions, yeah, yeah, yeah. as this one has been. Awesome. I'm Sean Nittner. I'm the Evil. Hat. I'm the director of projects at Evil Hat. Um, I was project manager on this project and a lot of our others. Uh, Gamerati is uh, helping us promote Dresden Files, but oh. they're not actually our, our distributor on on this one. On this one, yeah. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. And uh, I I uh, live next to Eric, so we got a chance uh, in the development of the game. To, That's convenient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got to playtest all these cards mm -hmm. before before they they hit the final. Where do you guys live in? We're uh, both in the Bay Area. I live in. Oh, Oakland. okay, okay. Yeah. So they flew up here from uh, the Bay Area to uh, the Seattle area mm -hmm. to uh, join us on this video, and you are. Um, I am Gamerati in training, <laughs> aka Sonia, and I have no idea what I'm doing, but. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, ideas what you're doing are not necessary. They're overrated. Yes, yes, they are. Yeah. That's actually most board game making. You don't know what you're doing when you first start. It's all about <laughs> beginner's mind. <laughs> yes. Just throw a bunch of ideas at a board. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, for those of you watching on Twitch, thank you for joining. For those of you who are seeing this afterwards on YouTube, you will be seeing the chat appear in the lower right corner of this video. That was from our uh, Twitch stream. Uh, Feel free to comment on this video or uh, to the various Twitters and everything else. We will be linking them all in that area that's between here and the comments that no one ever reads. I believe it's called the description. So uh, <laughs> we hope you'll check that out know. as well. Mm -hmm. There's a description? Yeah. Where? Oh, no, no, that's on YouTube. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's not on Twitch. <laughs> you know, right where it says show more? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, that, that whole thing. Do you want to know more? Yes, no one ever checks that out. So, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you have any questions for any of us here, fee please feel free to post them. Or, once again, if you're viewing afterwards, throw them in the comments or ping any of us in any of the many ways of social media magic that we are available. And this game is on pre-order right Correct. This game is on pre-order right now. The uh, link that we are we are firing firing off to you will take you to the Evil Hat Web Store where you can get the game. Well, you can pre-order the game uh, as well as the three expansions that are out now. Uh, and if you do that, you're likely to see more expansions down the line because this gentleman has <laughs> mm -hmm. keeps working on things. Yep. Uh, and also, uh, if you're a big Dresden fan, uh, we're, uh, at the same time as this is coming out, which is uh, middle of June, uh, we also have Dresden Files Accelerated. Uh, and uh, that's that's the the uh, new accelerated edition of uh, the Dresden Files role-playing game. And uh, Gamerati is going to be running some uh, Powered by Fate games uh, coming up soon, too. So you should mm -hmm. check them out as well. And okay. I believe the retail launch of the Dresden Files Cooperative Care game will be at Origins. At Origins, correct? yep. When is that? June. F well, the technical date of the launch is June 14th, but I think Origins is the... Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Yeah. <whistles> wow. Crazy. Okay, awesome. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I think we can probably get going. We are officially uh, promoted right up on uh, Twitch, so nice. anybody going to twitch.tv should be starting to Excellent. see us there. Uh, so I'd like to personally uh, put a thank out to Twitch, and uh, there's a couple people over there who have helped us uh, multiple times uh, get up there and show off what we can do with board game streaming. It's greatly appreciated, and we love that Twitch is expanding their audience to more than just video games. Yeah. So yes. I definitely can't complain about that. Um, Here's to you, Twitch. Thank you so much. <laughs> and to you, gentlemen, for providing this very nice cognac. Make it to heaven an hour before the devil well, loads Well, that's your actually dead. bourbon. I well, heard you like bourbon. This very nice bourbon. That goes to show just how uh, distinguished a drinker I am. <laughs> and I'm drinking there, Dasani man. vodka. Yeah. 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 Something it's, like it's that. Water. It's water. Okay, so um, just because you guys probably know how to play this game a bit better than the two of us over here, uh, I'll let you start since we're going to be playing clockwise around the table. And let's get this going. Well, technically, Harry Dresden, the player playing Harry, which is True. Eric, gets to choose. But he might make that choice anyway. <laughs> I might make that choice. So, uh, we're ready to proceed with the teach? Uh, yeah, so for the first game, why don't we mostly teach as we play through, and then uh, while we're playing actions, it'd probably be best for you to explain them as we go along. Okay. And then while we're setting up the second game, we'll do a deeper uh, uh, teach like you did for us a moment ago. Okay. All okay, right. cool. That will be fine. 
Um, let's see. Uh, let's take a look. So we're. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's give Explain a little that overview. Aspect. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What we're trying to yeah. do is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We are playing the Dresden Files cooperative card game set in the world of the best-selling urban fantasy series by Jim Butcher. And so we are playing Harry Dresden, uh, the wizard private detective, and a group of his friends and allies as we try to uh, defeat mystical forces of evil and save the world, or at least the city of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. It's good enough. You just we you don't need a place to else. live, you know. Right. You, need, for effort. you need pizza. <laughs> All right. So, in this particular game, I will be playing Harry Dresden, which is the only character who has to be in every game, because it is his game. <laughs> uh, you need to include him. Uh, Sean will be playing Michael Carpenter, the Holy Knight of the Cross. Uh, Andrew will be playing... Anthony. I'm, th I'm, I'm so <laughs> sorry. No problem. We can edit that in post. Oh, wait. No, we can't. I we're do that live. to people all the time. Let's <laughs> not pretend we're not nervous. Yes. All right. Uh, we'll be playing uh, Billy and Georgia, a pair of uh, werewolves, uh, eventually married werewolves in the series. And Sonia will be playing Susan Rodriguez, an intrepid reporter who investigates uh, mystical stories. Awesome. All right. So... Uh, in this game, we are playing as a team. We are playing as a team fighting against the game itself, trying to solve cases and defeat foes. Uh, as a team, we share a common pool of action points, and so we're going to be spending out of this pool of action points, uh, taking playing cards from our hands. You're either going to play the card, spend that number of action points in order to take the action on the card, or you're going to discard the card to generate that amount of fate for the team. So okay. we're going to alternate between turns where we're really taking actions for ourselves and turns when we're setting up other players to take actions. Awesome. Uh, and by the end of the game, uh, you're not wanting a full teach at this point, right? No, no, no. Okay. But you can explain the win-lose condition. Sure. So uh, as we play, as we play investigation, say we're going to be adding uh, clues to cases and hits to foes eventually, We'll get up to the number needed to solve the case or defeat the foe. By the end of the game, we need to have solved more cases than there are undefeated foes left on the board. So every case is a point for us. Every undefeated foe is a point for the game. Uh, and uh, we lose on a tie because... Because life is tough and Harry never catches a break. There we go. <laughs> exactly. All right. So this being a... Uh, Four-player game, we get a hand of five cards. Okay. Which I believe I've got five. Everybody has drawn already. We are uh, good. Should there be a certain oh, number of points be. in either? Yeah. Yes. So uh, for a normal difficulty game, this is what you start with. You start with eight fate points in the pool. Ah, great. All right. So uh, what we should do uh, is take a look at our hands. Now, the table talk restrictions in this game, if we're playing with the normal table talk restrictions, say that you can talk about cards in your hand, but you can't show your hand to other players and you can't say specific numbers. So I can't say things like, I need five fate points on my turn. But I could legally say something like, I need a lot of fate points on my turn. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> with, in this game... Uh, five is a lot, whether we're talking about damage or fate points. Uh, one or two is a little bit. That's ah. the range of things in the game. That makes sense. And so at the beginning of the game, we take a look at what we've got in our hands. We have a little bit of discussion of what's in our hands and what's in the scenario we're facing. And then we make a decision about who should go first. The rules say Harry chooses the player who goes first, but really we talk it out <laughs> as a group. It's a cooperative game. It's not all about... Uh, not all about authoritarianism. That's it's not, not how it's supposed to work. No, no. We really are supposed to do things as a team. Cool. So let's take a look at what's kind of key in this scenario. So uh, when you're playing through uh, one game of the Dresden Files cooperative game, you're playing through one of the novels in the series. And right now, the uh, 12 cards you see layout before you, this is for the first novel in the series, Stormfront, which is also the introductory scenario, hmm. aptly enough, in the game. A lot of what makes a scenario unique is the text effects on the cards, which create different conditions we have to worry about. Now, these obstacle cards are creating some kind of problem for us until we get rid of them. 
So this one right up here is making all of our tax cost an extra fate point, which is horrible. Yeah, that seems pretty bad. Yeah, we, I don't like it. I want to get rid of that. We want to yeah, get rid of that fast. Of that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I'm on uh, it. And then this one, the three-eye drug war, is not quite as bad. On our all of our die rolls, the first minus that we roll on each, or sorry, the first uh, plus or blank we roll on any die roll becomes a minus. It's converted to a minus. Now that's a bad thing if we're rolling to see how much damage we get or how yeah. much fate we get, but if we're rolling to see how much it costs to play a card, it actually helps us ah. by making cards cheaper. So we might decide we want to get rid of that eventually, or we might just keep it around and say, you know what, it's not worth our time trying to take that out. Okay, so would you say that take, or completing a clue is worth about twice as much as completing an attack, taking down a foe? No. Okay. No, they're, they're, they're actually about equal. They're about value. equal because we want to make sure at the end that we have, have more more right. uh, uh, clues defeated than foes left. So it's it's a balancing act. Right. But. And so uh, you can't win without solving at least one case, uh, but you can win by emphasizing either cases or foes in mm. a balanced scenario. So in this uh, scenario, we have four foes. We have four cases. Okay. Um, okay, so just a quick reminder to those uh, tuning in, we're playing Dresden Files. It just uh, is about to hit market in about three weeks, yep. so this is hidden really soon. Hope uh, you like what you're, you see. If uh, you have any questions, we've got the designer here, and he's more than happy uh, to help answer them. Yeah. Uh, I think we can go. I think yep. we can. Let's All right. All right. Let's get in it. Um, well, look, let's just review a couple of the other things oh, that right, we got right. set up. Yeah, so yeah. Um, this foe right here at the moment he's invulnerable we can't add hits to him either with our talents or our attacks okay so nothing we can do can damage him until we solve this case uh, so until we solve that case this guy is kind of an obstacle in our way however if we take this advantage it will let one player draw a card and immediately go again which is a good thing because there's no automatic card draw in this game but it will also let us push this all the way to all the back again. to get it out of the way. Ooh, so we can take out other stuff easier. Yeah, clear, we could. clear the, because he's blocking us right, right now. He's making it difficult. However, one of the things to remember is that your talent is that you get to add a hit to, to the foe. everything. The, oh, that's your stunt. Oh. Your talent lets you add a hit to the foe at the farthest range every time you make Ooh. fate. But if we put an invulnerable foe up at the largest, longest range. Then that's useless for now. And it's going to be blocked. So we need to think about that as we're doing it. So those are the conditions on the cards that we better be aware of going into this game sure. as we plan our strategy. However, Sean is already strategizing. Yeah, and, sorry. I've been looking at my cards and the de and the board the whole time. So. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Vlastillion. Uh, yeah, uh, neither me nor... Uh, I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Sonia. So, Sonia <laughs> has uh, read the novels, so we're going in this a little bit blind from that regard too. But just from a core game mechanic, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing yeah. as well. And if you're if you're if you're curious about Dresden Files, uh, it's urban fantasy. So there's a lot of touchstones uh, to to other uh, urban urban fantasy uh, series, and yep. Dresden uh, has its own very cool surprises and mm -hmm. nuances, but it's certainly not an unfamiliar notion of a, no. a wizard in Chicago. Almost, I would venture to say almost every popular geek culture thing makes its way into the Dresden Files somewhere <laughs> at yes, some point. Probably. For better or worse? There, uh, mostly for better. <laughs> mostly for better. Uh, I Lots mean, of Star Wars references. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. that, that'll be right up Rico's alley. Yeah. You never go wrong with yeah. Star Wars references. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. So if maybe for worse, if you hate geek culture... Yeah, I don't think that's anybody at this table. <laughs> I don't think you're sitting on a Twitch stream streaming board games if you hate geek culture. Yeah, pr pretty much. <laughs> oh, gosh, not. I, I was looking for the Bolshoi. How did I end up here? All right. <laughs> Wrong turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, um, uh, since uh, Michael has a plan for how we get started, I think I'm going to choose Michael to go first. Cool. Awesome. I have, I have a plan with some variations, so I'm going to throw out some ideas out there to you. So, um, uh, I have the ability to get rid of um, uh, an obstacle and take an advantage that's on the board right now. And either of those things will work really well if things kind of stay as they are. Mm -hmm. So um, I think what I want to do uh, opening up is get rid of that obstacle that's making all our fate, mm -hmm. making all our tax cost extra fate. But it's going to take a fair amount of fate to begin with. Is that cool with... I think that's fine all with right. me. All so right. one thing to note is... Uh, you want to check how your moves are going to impact people downstream from you. So if ah. you're going to spend a lot of the fate, 
you at least want to ask the next player in line, well, you know, are you going to be all right on your turn with that? And in my case, yes, I'm perfectly happy to make some fate so that you can then do some stuff on your turn. Cool. So I'm going to, I'm going to start off with a strong move. I think I'm going to play fist of God. Uh, so fist of God costs four fate, which is expensive, but what it does is awesome. That sounds cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. right? It's got a range of two, and it can overcome a card. So I'm going to overcome this obstacle, which is Morgan is watching in the fiction. Morgan is the uh, is the uh, warden assigned to keep Harry uh, out of trouble. and uh, Or actually to but catch But really, him. he'd rather just kill him. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. Pretty uh, much. That would make his life easier. He'd like to find that Harry is getting in trouble and off with his head. But yeah. Um, so I'm going to use this to overcome it. Now, it's got a, it costs four fate, uh, which I just spent out of our pool. Yep. It's got a range of two, so we've got that at two. But... If you overcome an obstacle, you can put two clues to any cases or two hits to any foes that are adjacent. Ooh. So not only am I going to overcome this obstacle, which is great because it's a pain right. in the butt, but I'm also going to drop two clues here and two clues here. That seems useful. So for four yep. fate, I think it's worth the spend. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that feels play. good. Yeah, there, there is that. So that's my turn. Very good. Now, over to my turn. I think it would be... Uh, I mean, I, there's four fate in the pool. I That's enough fate that I could take some actions. Uh, but then I would be uh, dumping the job of making fate on you for sure. Uh, you would really not have much other choice. So, so But uh, just being honest, I've got a card that with what he did mm-hmm. probably isn't very valuable. So okay. I'm thinking I might generate just a little bit of fate. Okay. So I think what I will do is generate a moderate amount of fate. You generate a little fate. And then Sonya has lots of options on her turn. Possibly, yeah. I mean, or if you generate a decent amount of fate, I might spend some of it, and I might be able to do something to one of those, uh, try to help solve one of those. That would be fine, too. Okay. So now, I have my Pyrofuego card, which is a very cool card. Um, It adds two hits to all the foes in one row. Um, However, uh, our foes are pretty much evenly divided between the two Uh, rows. yeah. So it's not an optimal situation to use it. So instead, I'm going to use it to make some fate. I will make four fate. Now. Wow, that's a lot. That my, feels like a lot. It's a fair amount. Uh, now, my talent is that when I generate fate, I can move an obstacle or an advantage up or down one in range. So, uh, are there some of these that we want to move? Ooh. Well, were you to move the speed potion one closer, mm-hmm. and if that didn't mess up anything, okay, uh, I could do... Uh, a similar effect on the next turn. Okay. Uh, but that said, I'm certainly not married to it. The, both the Beer at Max and the Three-Eyed Drug War uh, mm-hmm. could get moved closer as well. And yeah, if you move that Three-Eyed Drug War up, I might be able to do something about it. I can't guarantee it, though. Okay. Um, and Sonia, do you have any feelings in the matter? Um, if you guys are going to be generating fate, I may have to ruin that because I have a little plan of taking out one of the... In- Investigations. Oh, okay. well, that's not going to ruin anything. No, no, right. no. no that's if you can take out one of those, then just leave that speed potion right where it is, and I'll I be all good. I definitely could. <laughs> all right. Cool. So I think what I might do then is move Beer at Max up a little bit. Great. Make sure we get that, because that's going to be a source of more cards for us that we're going to need very shortly. Now, I thought you were discarding that for fate. You still get to use the action on no, it, or? Uh, no, I don't get to use oh, the action on the card. Talent. I get to use my talent power. Ah. Every time I make fate i get to do that oh yeah your talent uh one, whenever one, i discard for uh fate points i may add a hit to a foe at the longest range. right so yep. if you did that right now you drop a hit on marco and goods ah, yep i thought that one wait the stunt is the one use yep the stunt is the one use card. oh mine is add one hit to all foes who have at oh, least one. right yeah. so oh. we've got to set you up for that one a little bit yeah and in fact, uh, one thing we mustn't forget is that Michael's stunt only works on a foe that hasn't been damaged yet. So we have to make sure he gets a chance to use that before we've dinged all the foes. Yes. Okay. It's a good setup. Michael's stunt uh, allows me to put f- uh, three hits on any foe that has not been damaged. It has to be a legal foe. I can't put it on Kalshazak because mm-hmm. he's, he's immune right now. Uh, and it also sends that foe to the very end. Mm. So, let's say we send Kalsas back to the end, and you're like, great, now my talent's useless. Yeah. If there's at least one foe, say, the Shadow Man that we haven't hit, I could hit the Shadow Man for three, send him to the end, and then, right. he, becomes and then, available to me. And then he becomes available to you as Gat. And because my talent only affects obstacles and advantages, 
a little ways into the game, those are all going to be gone. And ah. it's not going to be optimal for me to be the one who makes fate yeah. at okay. that point. So. It would be better for me to be taking actions and you guys making the fate for me. It, which we definitely want to consider as we as we get further. Right. Do you need a crap ton of fate or just a little bit to do what you're planning? I think she needs a crap ton of fate. I fate. need a lot. She, ha she has a look of a woman who needs a lot of fate. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can still generate fate right now. Anthony, if you, if you, uh... Well, I was trying to decide if I wanted to spend a little bit of it. Um, so just for my reference, this is a general game mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. What's the range usually of, like, what's the max fate that usually somebody can spend with a card? So the max fate, the max base fate cost is five. Okay. Uh, now, there are cards that have a variable cost, so you could roll something above five. Okay. Yeah. But, You uh, could theoretically spend seven on some cards that have, like, five plus a die roll of t plus two dice, but... In general, yeah. yeah. I think that's the highest anything goes, right. is five and two. And the cheapest is one. Okay, so I think I'm just going to... I am going to spend some cool. of okay. the fate. I'm going to play a flanking attack. So this will cost us two fate, uh, which will still leave us with six there, mm -hmm. which feels safe-ish. Mm -hmm. um, and it will deal two hits to an enemy within two range with a die roll. Right. Now, one of the things to note is anytime you're rolling a die as part of an action, mm -hmm. you get to roll the die first and then designate the target of the card after you roll. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so I will roll this and I get plus. So that, that means this becomes a range of three. Right. Indeed, indeed. Ooh, but that the one enemy in range of three, I can't hit. Right. So I'm going to deal two hits to the shadow man. Okay. Awesome. You got to have ding to the shadow man. All righty. And now this gets discarded. Yep. Right. Awesome. Uh, so I'm going to play an investigation card. Cool. A nose for news. Nice. There we go. Um, so That's I can take Susan. out this guy right here. Uh, very wow. Cool. So five <laughs> fades. Uh, five fades. Now, one yeah. thing to note, though, you might not be able to read it from where you're sitting. When that's solved, the active player has to discard an attack card. So do you have a discard uh, an attack card you're going to lose when that hits you? That would be a you? red card. Yes, I have two. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, somebody's uh, complaining that you always get stuck playing Harry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor that Eric. sounds like somebody I know. Who's yeah, saying King that? Chrono. Hey, Eric, what's up? <laughs> Thanks for watching us. Uh, the, another, another Eric game designer, board yep. game designer. Uh, what's up? Uh, I, I actually always don't always get stuck playing Harry because a lot of people who love the Dresden Files the first time they play say, I don't want to play Harry, let me be Harry. It's like saying you get to be Luke or Indiana Jones. Yeah, or it's, it's not such a bad thing. Uh, Game Roddy <laughs> TV, uh, I'm playing Michael Carpenter, the uh, uh, Holy Warrior. Uh, as we've just discussed, uh, Eric is playing Harry Dresden. Anthony is playing... Billy and Georgia, apparently a couple of werewolves that really like each other. A, a werewolf couple, yeah. A werewolf couple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Sonia is playing... Uh, Susan. Susan Rodriguez, the arcane investigator. Okay, so... Let's see, discard a attack Well, card. first do we resolve that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we're so, going to resolve that. We're going we're gonna to put five hits on that, which, which is enough to kill it off. Which is enough to take it oh, off. we've got our first point. We've we solved do. the Yay. case. Everything's going to slide We are now down. only losing four to one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only. It's not a problem. All right. And yeah, then uh, go ahead and discard a card. In general, I would say discard your lowest cost card if you can. Okay, let's see. Where should I? Uh, Just it put goes it in the on same place as where you played. Yeah. yeah. Yep. There we go. Where okay. Very good. Cool. Awesome. All right. First blood. First blood. All right. <laughs> uh, Second blood. Okay. I uh, I need some fate to do the thing I want to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and generate right now uh, because I think that makes the most sense. Before I discard this card, though, does someone else have the ability to take care of that three-eyed drug war at some point? Um, I do. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to discard prayer. It's not going to generate a ton of fate, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's the right move, I believe. So it's gonna it's going to generate one fate in the pool, and then I'm also uh, Michael's talent is that when he discards fate for fate points, I get to ready my talent. Mm -hmm. I flip it over, and that means the in the future I can flip it back to unready to extend the range of any one of my cards by two. Yep. Oh, so if I but only yours. Only mine. Right, okay. and I should note, there's only two characters in the game whose talent works that way, where you ready it on one turn, then you use it later. For the other characters, your uh, talents are just instantaneous effects. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now I feel I should make fate again. Um, I'm probably eventually going to want to do stuff, but for now I will make more fate. Um, so what happens when the fate pool is spent? 
when the fate pool is spent, pretty much the next player is forced to do something to okay. make fate. It's not an automatic loss condition. Yeah. No. no. Okay. If we overspend it, we lose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the only way to do that is if you play a card with a variable cost, and mm -hmm. that variable cost exceeds what's available. Uh, yep. Otherwise, you cannot elect to spend more. Like oh, if there's I, I two can't, in the pool, I can't, I can't just say no. You can't say, I blow it all and then <laughs> Woo! Uh, let me ask Flip the table. <laughs> let me ask the team. Does one of you have a cheap take advantage card? A cheap purple? Nah, I'm not looking good. I don't think so. No. Nope. We've got a really expensive one that's going to be okay. awesome when I use it. <laughs> All righty. Um, I think we'd better set him up to use that soon because the card supply is going to be running thin otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, um, how are you all fixed for attacks versus investigates? I'm almost uh, purely investigate. Okay. I am pretty much everywhere. So okay, you got a little both, <laughs> and I've got an even though. mix. You got an even mix. All right, so I don't think it matters that much which I discard. I am going to discard my soul game. The soul, soul. game. <laughs> Sorry, I, I cannot. I'm I'm terrible. Yeah. All right. Uh, soul does it, game. Does it happen every time? Every time. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Pretty much. And so uh, there's no point in me sliding up one of these advantages because they're um, where they need to be. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody has cheap short range. Yeah. Sometimes you'll have a cards. really cheap, really short so range. I'll slide up the three eye drug war. Cool. Because Ooh. why not? All right. Uh, I could use that in a little bit closer and then I'll be able to take care of it. Okay. It, it'll help. probably be closer. Yeah. It'll probably be closer by your turn. Okay. Then I'm going to discard the Lupine Leap to generate one fate. Cool. Right. And it will also cause one damage to the furthest foe, which will be the top one. Yeah, yeah. now you're yep. in good luck here because they're tied. Yeah, I was looking at that going, oh no! Yep. <laughs> that was perhaps a, a, a little risky of me to make that that slide, but I think this is going to scoot up in out. a little bit anyway. Yep. yep. Cool. So can somebody remind me what it advantage cards to the that allows one. you to use one of the advantages right. out there yeah. so if you can reach one of these then you can enact that effect which is good for us yeah if you have the ability to take beer at max cheaply that would be killer oh actually at this point i think it's going to be good whether she can do it cheaply or not because you don't have cheap advantages either and i have no advantage takers in my hand fair enough fair enough <laughs> My I'd love it if you left a decent amount of fate in the pool, but that said, if you can take beer at max, that would oh, be that, that would have been rough, having the two obstacles spawn at six slot five. six. Uh, so there's, there's right. a rule about that. If you ever, when you deal out the cards, we had them already set up in advance, but whenever you deal out, if uh, the last card in row six is either an obstacle or an advantage, you, you, re you slide it with the nearest uh, case or a foe. So there's uh -huh, always yeah. going to be a case or a foe in slot six. So okay. They played hard mode. I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, okay. Uh, my dilemma is that I don't know if I want to generate some fate for, you know, so you can take mm -hmm. action and you can take action, or if I should go for the advantage, How? which will not be cheap. <laughs> I think it would be a good turn for you to make a little to medium amount of fate and hang on to that advantage card for later. I think that Hey, makes... Heroic Logic. Thank you for joining. Hey, what's up, John? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying he knew you. Yeah, yeah. It's John Edwards. He's he's. All right. Which he's been a longtime viewer of ours for our Kingdom Death Monster. He was streams. he was just talking to me the other night when you guys were streaming. He's like, "Hey, I'm watching Get Forged by Geeks, <laughs> and they're gonna do a Dresden thing." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be there." <laughs> Small world. Not not John Edwards the psychic. Not John Edwards. All right, just there, because that would be cool. John Edwards, our mutual friend. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, not him. <laughs> who, uh, who actually just had a birthday? Happy, happy belated birthday, John. You, you guys might want to remind him we're giving away a copy of the game. Oh yeah, yeah. We're giving away a copy of Dresden Files. Yes. How are we giving that away again? Uh, we have a we have a method, uh, and the method is sheer madness. Yeah. Well, since Game Roddy <laughs> is since Game Roddy has made this happen, uh, uh, if. Yeah, anyone at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, anyone who is following the Game Roddy Twitch channel, uh, we're going to randomly select uh, somebody. We're going to post, we're going to put the link to them in, a, in, uh, in chat. Uh, at 8 p.m., we'll randomly select one follower of the from the Game Roddy channel, and we're going to, and Game Roddy is going to donate a, a copy of Dresden Files co-op to you. So oh. you can play this cool game. 
Awesome. Sweet deal. Yep. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. Yep. All right, I think Woo-hoo. I'm gonna. <laughs> hey, Game Ronnie TV, why don't you put, post a link to your to your channel? Uh, you he can? Uh, he can without the HTTP. Got it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, we've had problems with people spamming. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, I've meant to make him an admin before we started this, that he could actually, you know, post links, but I forgot. Cool. <laughs> no no See, worries. you've ruined it for all of us. Now, yes, no I one have. can have anything nice. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Salute. Uh, all right, so I think, uh, Susan. Mm. Uh, I'm going to discard an attack card. Okay. So That works. Yeah. No, that too. <laughs> Very good. And so you're rolling to see how much fate we get. Yeah. Roll well. Roll big. Oh. Nice. There we go. We get Yay. four fate. That's big. And you get to use your talent. What's your talent oh. say? Um... I will read it. When you discard for fate points, you may add one clue to the case at the shortest range. Speaking of. Excellent. All right. So, uh, because I'm a greedy, greedy, vain man, uh, uh, Michael is going to play Family Man. Uh, it's very similar to, to Fist of God uh, in that it costs four fate. Doesn't sound as cool, though. No, it doesn't. It's, it's pretty cool. Gonna, <laughs> hey, leave him alone. He's a family man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take an advantage, and um, and the advantage that, that I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take the speed potion. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, I get to do the same thing. I can put two hits on any foes or two clues on any cases that are adjacent. So I'm going to take the speed potion, Ooh. And, which is going to uh, active player draws a card, then immediately takes another turn. I'm going to do that in a second, but I'm not going to forget to first drop two hits on the giant scorpion, and get two more clues on Victor is Missing. Nice. Uh, Victor is Missing, when we solve it, adds three clues to who is the Shadow Man. So that's a nice chain. Yep. Yeah, that'll help. So um, I'm going to do all that, and then I'm going to draw a card and take another turn. Oh, okay. oh and the Speed Potion allows you to take Kalsha's act and move him to the end. Yes. So I'm going to put him in the end. Well, so, mm-hmm. no. what do you because, guys think? Because uh, then I think if we do that, uh, Billy and George are never going to get to use their talent again. Uh, well, they're not going to anywhere right now. Look, like at that. the moment, but as soon as one of us takes this or that, they'll oh. be able to use it again. Fair, oh, yeah. Fair. fair. Uh, however, we can't defeat Kalsazak until we solve who is the Shadow Man, and that puts who is the Shadow Man closer That's in range. That's true. Yeah, I'd be fine with it going out there. All I'll right. just hold off on creating fate for a little while. It just means we want to make them right now and you will probably still have to make a little bit of fate and just miss on the opportunity to use your talent at right. some point all right um so i'm gonna i'm going to uh i'm going to play nice and i'm going to ba- i'm going to discard banish the darkness uh solid card but i want to be a, a little more of a team player not just keep eating up all this uh you know let's fate. i'm gonna discard for uh, I think you went the wrong well, way. I did. Yeah. I Hard did. Mode. Yeah. Hard mode. There we go. I, th- I think we there got we a go. traitor in our midst. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, there's a secret traitor rule in this game. No, there's no, there's <laughs> there's no traitor so rule. So is that in this conscious game. thing uh, that. a reference that I'm missing? No. You're okay. probably tired and in a different time zone. Oh, okay, <laughs> that works. Yeah. Because he wants to win the copy. Oh, he wants okay. to win the copy. Oh. Which is 8 p.m. our time, so add 3 to Easter or. God, God knows how much if you're in Europe. We've had a couple of our Europe followers go, I want to watch your games, but I can't stay up till 6 in the morning. That's <laughs> <laughs> sad. I can't stay up that late either anymore yeah. because I'm old. I, I thought I used to be able to at one point. It's kind of like this long lost past. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, has somebody got a shot at finishing off Victor is Missing? Um, As it stands or... Would it be better a little closer? Yeah. I've got a shot of finishing uh, it off, but it, 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 no guarantees. I, I could do is it. That the... You could do it? Yeah, you okay. could do it? Okay. I could do it. You could it, do it as it is? I could do it as it is. All right. It's expensive, but uh, I could do it. I'd love it if we could bring in who is the, who is the Shadow Man a bit. That would be really nice. Uh, well, hmm can only do that by sliding the three-eyed drug war out further away again, but maybe we don't care about that. Um, I also, I think what I want to do is try to get one of the foes in range of my stunt so we don't miss the chance to use my stunt. Yeah. Ah. 
so I think I am going to go ahead and punch something. <laughs> punch him right. in the face? Yeah. Punch him, maybe not uh, in the face. Yeah, and the good news is that our attacks uh, aren't costing one more right now. That so is correct, that, because yeah. we got rid of that obstacle. Nice. So um, I'm going to do four and one hits, and I get to decide which one I'm doing that against after I roll it. And that's a blank, but that would go Turns negative. Turns into a minus, so I'm actually only adding three. Um, so, however, if I add those to the giant scorpion, the giant scorpion will then be in range of being killed by my stunt. Nice. Nice. Uh, and now, meanwhile, I will uh, point out to Billy and Georgia that your stunt is probably as good as it's ever going to get now. Yeah, I, I was noticing lots of damage stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but that takes my whole turn, correct? Yep. It does. But it also doesn't cost any fate, so that lets us manage our fate situation for another turn. Yeah, yeah, can't complain about that. Just bite him in the face. Though, uh, question. Mm -hmm. Would it be better to um, to deal that one damage to two different guys? That's all it hits, right? Uh, no, it's going to hit three. One yeah. hit to all foes that have at least one hit. Oh, right. there's three of that. Yes. Oh, yeah. I missed that. Or possibly take out that obstacle. I think probably the obstacle is not such a big deal okay. for us at this point. Yeah. Okay, then I if shall do that. If we get rid of it, it will probably just be to move these closer. Sweet. Then I am doing my all stuff. Right. Awesome. We're dropping hits all over the place. There we go. Seems like a decent amount of damage. All right. Cool. Six out of nine. Seems almost dead to me. <laughs> okay, on here. On death door. Yep. Um, hmm. Victor. Either I could overcome our obstacle and move the cards closer in range, sure. or I could just create fate for whoever needs it. Um, do you do you still have your advantage, Taker? I do. Ooh, I think that would actually be more useful to us than getting rid of that obstacle. Yeah, I think sure. so too. All right. That obstacle, it actually can be kind of beneficial because if you're playing a card with a variable fate, mm -hmm. it can make the cost of it less. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, it's you, you can play with it. You can game it a bit. Right. All right. So advantage it is. All right. Take advantage so, with And so range. since it has a variable yeah. cost, it's a perfect time yeah. to play that. Hey. Oh, no. oh. Still cost us four, but that's okay. We need Other this. Other direction. Oh. So unfortunately. Wow. I thought this was a cooperative game. Why are you pointing that out? <laughs> All right. All right. So. Uh, we uh, so you're drawing a card from your deck to your hand, and you get to pick two other players to draw a card. Okay. Actually, um, technically, you could let one player draw two, but that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> we want to run out of cards at about the same time. We do. Uh, Ooh, Super Meat Boy! I'm a fan. And... No, I would love more. to draw a card because right now my only right. choice at the moment is to discard really good cards. Okay. And also, mind. since you he's too. right, you too, okay. Because since he That's started, for we're the better anyway since I don't know how to play the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, I just drew the perfect card to, and now nah, it's all good. Oh well. Uh, no more. No fate cool. left. To... Excellent. No, it's just I, I, I drew the card that would have been great for grabbing that out, that advantage. Right. Hey, oh. that's no, but it's good because I wanted to draw a card I could discard. So, um, did you forget to use your stunt, sir? I, I have. Uh, we have. I have forgotten to use my stunt. Okay. Uh, I let me rephrase that. I haven't forgotten to use my stunt. We very quickly put hits on everything where I could. That's true. That was uh, partially my fault. Yeah. I did some of those hits. Okay. Um, so I'm going to save my son for Kalshazak because okay. once we solve this, assuming we do, uh, once we solve um, who is the Shadow Man, who is the Shadow Man, then we uh, uh, we can start putting hits on him, and I'll just drop three hits on him to start with. Nice. So that being said, I have the ability to take out Victor's missing, which will put three clues mm -hmm. on this, but it needs a lot of fate. So I'm not going to spend any fate on my turn because I'm going to stunt. Okay. Cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a small amount of fate right now, uh, and it, my talent's already readied, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and discard Faith Protects, uh, which is a twin card to Kevlar Helps, and I'm going to generate us two fate. Okay. Alrighty. So now I'm going to use my stunt. I flip my stunt card over. 
I get to add up to four hits to a foe that will be defeated by that amount of hits. Ooh. I'm going to defeat Marcone's goons. That sounds like a good one. Since so that's a perfect... Is... Well, wait, that needs five. You're right. It needs five. I cannot defeat the Marcone's goons. I can defeat the giant scorpion. Yes. There we are. Yeah. How many cards do you all have left is the question. I think I've got well, three. I have no. three as well. I have two. Deck. Oh, why Where is that? Hand? I have five in my deck and three yeah. in my hand. I have three in my yeah. deck and three in my hand. And what you have in your deck doesn't really matter much because okay, you're not so. going to get to draw those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right now, there's going to be one more card draw in the entire game, which is going to be triggered by Susan's stunt. Oh. So. Yep. That That is it for card draw. Uh, Ooh. Ouch. So, uh, having taken out the giant scorpion, it now passes to you. Okay. Do we want... Oh, I should note... That um, normally when Margahone's goons is taken out, it's going to remove two clues from that case. But we've solved that already, so that doesn't matter. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so, I can either start working on who is the Shadow Man. Cool. Or I can get rid of that obstacle. Um, I've got a card with variable cost, so I wouldn't mind if that obstacle was around for a little while. If there was fate on the table to, to spend it um okay i don't hate that obstacle honestly but if anyone else is like oh it's killing me because of something else i don't mind then this would probably be a good one to play i will track the scent of who is the shadow man okay so that costs all four of our current fate um range of three so i hit it yeah and i don't defeat it so i get to put four clues on it nice that's that's the rule is that card cannot defeat. That. Yes. All right. I cannot solve it. Cool. Okay. All so, right. For your sake, discarding and overcome for four fate. So. Very cool. Nice. We have Yay. four of the pool. And thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Sorry for leaving you with nothing. Yeah. And uh, your <laughs> talent now activates. All right. So discarding for FP again. Uh, adding a clue to a case at the shortest range, so that would be... There we go. There we go. Nice. But right. I cannot read. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that's, you've got, so we only need three, three. more on, mm -hmm. on Victor's Missing. Um, I think, um, I'm going to go ahead, uh, 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 thank you very much for providing a lot of faith. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need even more. Oh, so, greedy. well, let's face. put it this way. If I rolled and I was really lucky... I wouldn't end the game. Oh. oh! Actually, I don't have to be really lucky, because the you three-head drug war is out there. I have a two and three chance of rolling and not ending the game, and solving Victor is missing right now. Of course, another way of putting that is you have a two and three chance of not making us lose horribly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold your hands and pray to God. What do we think? Can you play Butters? Yes, Noon Q. You can play as Butters um, in as one of the expansion Cards. Yeah. yeah. What What do we think, chat? You want You want to see me potentially end the game right now? I say yes. I say you do it. Come on, Twitch. Twitch, <laughs> Twitch, give me a sign. Oh man! Roll we're, the dice. Yeah. Or play we're we're going to put this play up to safe. random people uh, on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Roll it. Roll it. Do it. Come on. Wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> game running TV. You don't count. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> He's in you don't count. Okay. Okay. Oh um, no. All right. Three. Do it. Do, do it. it. Right. No. Do it. Right. I think do it. we could do this. Do it. And if if we really get sad, we could just. And somebody's and arguing cheat. that we just flipped the table. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, you know what? This is a teach game, right? So, yeah. so maybe it. we can lose really. Sometimes quickly. you can teach people about what not to do. Hey. <laughs> yes. And the I think the stakes one were made. Okay. <laughs> lots of do things. Do as in, I say. Not lots as of I things do. in the past. Exactly. All I'm going to say is. Uh, Never have me do this. All right. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, the, the good thing is, I just have to roll bad. I just have to roll poorly. Yes. Yeah, and we're fine. No, no. See, my problem is, if you have to roll poorly, I roll good. Well, if like you have it. to roll good, I roll bad. It let's, doesn't matter. Let's see how how well or poorly I can roll. Yes, I yes. rolled poorly. <laughs> so we only have to spend four fate. Yikes! Oh. Tiny Tim oh. shall not die. <laughs> Did not let us down. No, they didn't. Uh, thank you, Yay. Twitch. You made the right call. <laughs> you made the right call. All right. So uh, I did say, I did say I could finish this off, but I'll throw it out there. Hmm. I could also, instead of finishing this off, would be a slight amount of overkill. I could use my talent to extend this range to three and put five clues there. 
which would get it close. I'm inclined to finish yeah, this off because, because it, it puts adds three. to there. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it is overkill, but I'm going to do it. No such thing as overkill. I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to, and then we're going to put three clues on who is no, the it's Shadow Man. Be prudent. Which, which which just, just three more needed. Uh, I don't even think that. I think you it's know. no more. Uh, so let's swap out for a five. So we're modeling that behavior. Yes. Oh. Good. Good call. Remove. They can make great game stories, or they can destroy friendships. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, there was my divine revelation, which apparently was not a bad thing. Yep. Okay. I'll All right. You in the unenviable position of you have to make fate. Uh, yeah, I think I have to make fate, and I think I have a decent card to make fate with because, again, my consult with Bob card. Which, again, is normally an awesome card that adds uh, two clues to all the cases in one row. It's not a great situation in which to use that. Yeah. So I will make four fate. Not enough. Uh, so. And I think now it might actually be a thing to move the drug eye, three eye drug war away to move who is the shadow man closer to where we can hit it a little more will, easily. Will it, uh, would it make... Uh, it easier for folks to hit who is a shadow man. Um, if it was close my, I could hit it right now if I had more fate. <laughs> uh, well, sorry. And I could yeah. probably clear it. I just need more fate. So that's not happening. Right. Um, so I can either make a bunch of fate or I can get rid of that obstacle. But the obstacle helped you out. I think the <laughs> obstacle is not worth the fate to get rid of it. It's not. No. Okay, no. then I will... Hold on a second. He's got... Here's so got I am use. going to go ahead and move that a little further away. Oh, right, because you can do that as yeah. part yeah. of your thing. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. then in that case, I am going to discard Strength in Numbers. And that would allow, normally allow us to overcome an obstacle, but I choose not to and generate three fate instead. Thank yep. you, sir. So unfortunately, you don't get to use your talent because the card yep. that it targets is illegal at the moment. Yeah. Not a problem. And how do you make that one legal Bing. again? Uh, we, we take out this. It. Yeah, we oh, solve that case. Yeah. But in truth, if we want to win this game, what we're looking at is having more cases right. solved than foes remaining. We want to solve this case and then just defeat any old foe. Right. Yeah. It to be doesn't clear, matter. you will never clear the entire board in this game. That okay. doesn't happen. I didn't make that possible. Yeah. You... <laughs> Just have to get. You hey. never get to destroy all the Harry evil. always ends the stories with complications and hooks and problems. You know it's what? When clean. Jim Butcher writes the last book, if we're still making expansions for this game, yeah. I'll make an expansion where you can take whole freaking thing out. You can nuke and you team. have to to win. Yeah, I'll you have that. to set your board on fire <laughs> to, win, to win the game. Yeah. Like yep. I think Game Marathi's trolling us. Yeah, I feel kind of trolled right now, yeah. Game Marathi. <laughs> Are you. Who's a smidge me? disappointed that I succeeded? Well, Is this first Joey off, back at home, as it were? He's probably at the warehouse. First off, we us. haven't succeeded. We just didn't lose. Okay, <laughs> there's a long distance <laughs> between yeah. didn't lose okay. and succeeded. So, so if it. just just throwing this out there, if you guys can leave me with a lot of fate by the time it gets around me, it's okay. probably best for other people to focus on killing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah. Good to know. All right. All right. Susan, solve that case. I oh he's trolling us. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey Joey. Let's see. Um, I wish I could solve the case, except I don't have the. <laughs> amount. What Joey are we talking about? Is that Joey Two Eyes? Joey Big Feet? Which Joey? <laughs> I don't have the range it takes, so I'm going to instead discard a card and generate some fate. For okay. Us. All right. Woo. So. And you cause something to happen. Yeah. Don't you have a uh, you're going to give us a fate, and you're you no, know, but you're going to put a clue on the case of the shortest range, which yep. is the one we want to solve. So is, in fact, yep. how many cards do you have right now? In my hand. Uh huh. One. Okay. So just saying, all you need to do is discard that card, and this case is solved. Uh, that is nope. not the case. That is no. not the case. No, I can't. We add. have to do a yeah. bit more. However, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've got that I, numbers. I, 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 I'm actually thinking I can solve this more cheaply than you can. Stupid. Oh, if that's the case, then yeah. I can generate a bunch of fate for other people. Okay, All right. that may be with a way to go. Okay, that seems well, better. Yeah. I mean, okay. if somebody can take out this, then I could use some fate and solve the case, and we could, you know, move on and go forward with other cards but if we want to take a different route then 
you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so. <laughs> no, no, I think you're on the right track. Yeah, uh, well, I think next turn, although, uh, I think by next turn you probably want to use your stunt, just to make sure we get it used. Okay. Uh, but you can always just use it to make yourself draw a card. Yeah, it's fine yeah. for you to basically take two turns. All right, I have one card. It's very expensive. It would stabity-stab the heck out of either of those guys. But I think it's the wrong call right now, because everybody is needing fate. And I think what well, I... Well, no, no, no. I may not... I probably will be generating fate. All right. And I don't need a lot of fate. I okay. only need a small amount of fate. Well, then... I need a decent amount of fate if I'm, we're going to go through right. with... But you've got him to make fate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. so if you Let's use a little bit, I'm going to generate a lot. Don't mess it up. Let's say we... Don't mess it up. Am I, I going to mess <laughs> it up? Am I going to mess it up? Don't Let's mess say up. Let's say mess up. You, don't mess up in you here. Can, uh, you can use your stunt to give yourself another... Well, she'll just go again immediately. But she could always make fate look, look, with a new look. card if needed. Yeah, stabby stab. Stabby stab. Stabby stab. Okay. Stab. 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 Yeah, okay, but that's Lytle. 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 I need somebody besides Lytle. I mean, I love you, Eric, but Impale come on. Impale him. Are we so, sure that's Lytle and not Sam? It's Eric. King okay. Chrono. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I have no idea what King Chrono refers to. That's his Twitter handle. Unless... It's got to be some kind of Pokemon uh, thing. All I'm saying one is... case we cannot solve. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have ever watched Gundam Unicorn. Uh -huh. I have oh, watched oh, oh. Gundam Unicorn. Um, <gasps> and I have confessed that on oh, the wait, internet. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, the thing. It's now forever enshrined um, in YouTube. I, I've just got to bring this up right now. One of the characters' names in Gundam Unicorn is Bring Stabity. So, bring stabity. Yeah, bring stabity. It's a mistranslation, but they ran with it. Right. <laughs> works, out. Yeah. works out. Well, no one else is voting, so Lytle, you're getting what you want. All right. So th this could work. This could. Work well, it's poorly. his turn. No, I think oh, it's, no, it's, your, it's his oh, turn. Oh, yeah. I had it wrong. I'm spending five fate. Is that cool? Go right ahead. All right, all right, and I'm rolling the die. And this time, I'm hoping to roll well. we'll yes. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh. oh! Are loving me tonight. All right, wow. that is six hits. That is Ooh. six hits, which I could use to take out Marcone's goons um, and uh, finish that off. Uh, or I could put six on the Shadow Man and leave him that with one. That would help. And leave him with one, um, <laughs> thus making oh. everything else closer. Your life partner is being supportive, Sean. <laughs> So I am a oh hi Karen. I am a fan of just I, I'm generally a fan of if you get the points take the points. I would mm -hmm. kill the guy. <laughs> oh oh, you want me to take out Marco's goons? Yeah yeah, that's no, that's exactly what Amaracus is meant for. The holy blade of the cross is for killing goons. Yeah totally. Okay awesome. Uh, I'm fine with this unless anyone. Have... He probably just knocked the goons out somehow with the sword. All right. <laughs> the thing is if. This does not get taken out by yep. the time it's my turn. I can't do it. You can't solve that. But that's yeah. okay. I'm about to solve it. Yes. All right. <laughs> I think we're. I think. Uh, I think Eric. I think Harry is about to win the game. Harry because... has got to do some stuff. Yeah. He's got to do some stuff. All right. So three fate. All the fate. Uh, oh, there is a there. Oh, there is a Ooh. dim scenario in which. Oh, actually. No, there's not. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm no, fine. No, it's yeah, all in range. Worst you can roll yep. is roll two. Okay. Which is the two? You got? Worst I got, and it's still fine. That's two, two more to that, which finishes it off. Nice. Okay. And we have we know who the Shadow Man is now, and we have met the winning condition ahead of the showdown. Which, yeah. however, we still have the showdown. Uh, so we're still you're still going to get to see how it works, and we get a chance to better our score. Yep. For all of you out there who said my game was too hard. <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we shot it. Says the creator of the we game. We made some risky moves, and hey, they uh, they paid off. <laughs> okay, so my turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to discard pack hunting and give five fate over nice. to Susan. Nice. And check it out. You're going to put a hit on the foe at the long <gasps> range. Yep. There we go. Which is, talent is which, back which in business. Makes me sad because I was going to use my stunt to put hits on him. But yeah. uh, my you know what? I have done plenty. Actually, he has the option to not use his talent. Oh. It is optional. To oh, pay. it is optional. Then so I will not he can do, do that. that, and then that'll give me a turn because I yep. have no cards. So that's perfect. But just you our, could have done it. That's so what's important. Just a couple of quick reminders. Um, if you're interested in winning a copy of this game, uh, click on uh, Gamerati. He'll need to comment again. But click on Gamerati and uh, follow their channel, and you'll have a chance to win. Also, if you're interested in just flat-out 
buying this game, please either click the Buy link or it. type it in. That's to the left of the designer sitting here. And uh, that will take you right to a page to buy it and all the expansions yep yeah this is this is good this is a good game I, we really appreciate uh we're both indie game developers we really appreciate people supporting any indie game developer and it, i have to say this is a good one to support yeah, thank <laughs> you. all right susan what you got i have <laughs> i have a card that i cannot play right now because of range but right. oh um, however if yeah. you discard it you will still put clues on the ritual of double murder. So it is not yeah. all for naught. Uh, so I could discard it. What is her stunt? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, what is your stunt? Because you might get a new cool new card out of it. As your turn, flip this card over to choose any one player, including yourself, to draw one card. That player takes the next turn. Play player then proceeds to the left of that player. Yeah. Get yourself another yeah. card and see if you can do something yeah. with it. Basically, all just give yourself another right. turn. Yep. So Ooh. should I just flip it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, See, I feel like there's a song verse that goes flip nails. it, reverse it, something. Yep. Pop it. Okay, so. Pop it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, Sandra. All right, now it's your turn again. Oh, did, oh, the right. pop. did you draw something oh, cool? Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, oh, God, I'm too old. Um... You have video games in your life. You don't have to worry yeah, about these Yeah, we used to have things. these things that look like bottle caps, and you would have to pop them. Talking about the game. Oh no! I've I'm talking, heard yeah, that. I've twisted. seen oh, that elaborate thing. Simon game. Oh, yeah. However, the Simon only says. advertisements oh. for that that I've seen have been turned into memes. So right, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, actually. Of course. All right. Um, do you have anything good? I can attack. Do it. So attack. Yeah, bring it. Get rid of. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Well, we got we got five fate not. in the pool. Hit him hard. Shoot All right. Him. So in the face. Oh shit. Three fate. Got it. Three fate over there. Do you need to die? No, you no. don't. Oh, if oh, the you, tech you, does not be foed, add two plus one die roll clues to any one clue. Thanks. Nice. All right. So, so you can put two hits, right? That. You did defeat it, so and now, so you, now get you get to roll and see how many clues you get to add to ritual double murder. Uh, no. Nope. One one clue. One clue. Hey. Still a clue. One clue is still a clue. Still a clue. Awesome. Yep. Okay. On my turn, I'm going to finally use Amarakis, my stun. I there. As your oh, turn, okay. right. uh, flip this card over to add three hits to any one legal foe that has no hits on it. Then move that card to the furthest range in throw. So we're going to drop three hits on Kalsh's Act, the Toad Demon. And then we're going to move it to the end of the throw, and... where it already is. <laughs> um, Fancy that. Yeah, right. I know. So let's see. Do either of the two of you have cards left? Nope. I'm out. I have one. Okay. Uh, so I think we are at this point probably just going to make fate with the rest of our cards and then do the showdown, showdown rolls. Yeah. So I'm going to make fate with this fellow. For plus I one? to make three fate. Nice. And nice. now you have to spend a fate to pass because you have no cards left. Oh. Mm. Well. Mm. And now... See, I could discard this... You discard it. You'd put a. You'd put one clue, and you'd get us some fate, which is useful, right? Unless yeah. it's usable, in which case. Go it for is it. not usable right now, again because of rain. Right. So discard is the only. Ooh, thing four I... fate. That's four nice. Fate. Yeah. And you and then put a clue, a clue there. there. there All right. So uh, and I'm you are out of. I'm cards out. Now. So we are declaring the showdown phase showdown. now because we're out of cards. How do you determine who declares the showdown phase? No one player does it. As a group, you make. A okay. Decision. Okay. And you just don't play a player's turn. You just go. Right. On my turn, uh, I look at my hand and go, "I have no cards. I have my stunt is used. I have nothing I could do. All I could do is spend a, a fate point to pass, which right. yeah. just." Dwindle the pool because everyone yeah. else would do yeah. the same thing. So this is what we say. Okay, I didn't know right. if we had to get back around to no. Harry or nope. something. And like uh, if your group cannot reach a consensus about that decision, possibly cooperative games are not the right fit. For you. <laughs> so there we go. All right. <laughs> That's the ruling from the designer right yeah. there. <laughs> Especially if you're playing one player. Then that's really an issue. Yeah. Okay. So we are into the showdown phase. So in the showdown phase, we're going to get a roll down, roll out on each of these three cases. Now we've already won, right. so this is just at gravy. This we're adding insult to injury in this game. Uh, we have to look. This uh, one is six hits away. This one is five hits away. Uh, so that's our closest one. This is way, way far away. Yeah. We'll never get that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, technically, it's possible. 
If you spend four fate, you can get yeah. three plus or all six dice. You could roll six pluses, which I mean that you did it never happens. I did that before the camera was on. You I'll did. never do it again for the rest of my life. <laughs> You wasted the good roll. It's on true nothing. on the demo. Yeah, yeah demo. Okay. How dare you? Okay, um, but I, I'll get over that in time. Uh, <laughs> so cool. let's uh, let's It'll have our rollout on. Uh, let's try to let's pay for a best roll on that. So the way the rollout works is we get some number of fate dice plus a base value based on how much fate we're spending yep. to improve. And those options change with each of the book decks. Right? Oh, they those do. costs yeah. and dice you roll and all those things. Yep. So we should probably do the full three fate, which gives us yep. two guaranteed starting. They're not really guaranteed. Yeah, dice. plus five dice. So right. I'm going to say, why don't you roll oh, our first no, no, roll? No, 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 Then I think no, no. Sonya, we're going to have Sonya roll. So good general oh, rule of thumb, if anything involves a roll, don't give me the dice. Uh, okay, well, we'll <laughs> see. tonight I'm doing well, but I want to see, I want to see this roll. I so want to see Sonya roll. All you have to do is roll positive three. It's super You got easy. it. No problem. You got it. You got it. Take them out. No pressure. No pressure. Just, just don't. Really we've parts. already won, so there is really any pressure. Yeah, but <laughs> oh, well, oh, plus hey. one, one minus, plus one. Oh, so that's, that's. But wait, does that affect three blanks, a negative, it, and a minus? Yeah, so that's hit. right. So that's, we uh, added two. Yeah, two we it. added two hits, so it's up to five. Does not take our cautious. Right. Uh, wait, did we add two? I don't think we did. Because we just, she has three flats. Wouldn't this go move them all to negatives? No. No, no it's just one. Uh, oh, it does actually move one of them to a negative uh, because it's still in effect. So we actually only added one. So we're at yeah. four. Good right. catch. So, so uh, yeah, good reminder that the Thanks, game Anna. designer should be on top of <laughs> that the obstacles are still in effect during the showdown phase. All right. So uh, now uh, this is our second best shot. So let's spend three. Stop letting even give me why would we be playing Monopoly? Yeah. Why, in what what world would we want to be punishing ourselves? Uh, are, who's who's, who's posting this? Uh, stop loading and give me. I yes, I, uh, I I I hate to admit it. I liked Monopoly as a kid. I, me and my brother got well, how far is the airport? <laughs> <laughs> my brother got into fights. It, it was terrible. It's okay to like it as a kid. It's okay to like. I don't know, marshmallow fluff as a kid, too. Sure. I whatever like else you're having. Yeah, I don't want any more. It's too sweet. All right, all right. With peanut butter. All right. Oh, that was oh, great. Oh, that, 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 okay. now. I mean, Monopoly with peanut so butter. So I think that we're... Monopoly uh, with peanut butter. I think you smash it all together and gives you a reason to throw it away. I think we are having your roll oh, this no. time. Yep. Are, is oh, he rolling, no. Is he rolling against the Shadow Man? He's rolling against the Shadow Man. Right. You got this. You got this. You How many hits do I need? Just like five. A billion, billion hits. No pressure. Good, good. That's a good... That is a good roll, but... That's a doesn't zero. get it for us. Yep. All right. So that levels out, and that I just levels out. Two. That does two, <clears throat> two, and that is not enough. That's okay. not as bad as I usually roll. All right. Um, this is true. And uh, there is a uh, there is There's a impossibility. We could spend two fate and get maximum seven clues, and it still wouldn't get us. All right. Okay. So that is game. So and in fact, pretty much all the time, if you win ahead of the showdown, you can just call you, it. You've spent well. You want to play it out to see if you can improve your score, but most of the time you've burned through enough resources that you're probably not going to add to your score. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, even though it de we did win before the game ended, I uh, realized we only won by one point. Yeah. We oh. have three cases solved and two foes remaining, so... Close game. Uh, yeah. You know, we won a little advance, but yeah. Cl Which is actually the... pretty much how you win every time. There have been like, <laughs> maybe a couple of times I've won by two points, but the game really isn't designed to go that way. It's that makes sense. It's by so what's the benefit of margin. Uh, improving your score? Um, bragging rights. Rub, oh, yeah. <laughs> rub it in Eric's, in, er, Eric's nose. I whooped your game. We played Grave Peril the other night and we whooped it like three to nothing. Yep. Okay, so now it's we're going to move on to book And you two. made Eric cry. And I made Eric cry, yeah. Okay, so now, why don't you give an explanation of how Very we good. set up a game and maybe a little details about like picking characters for uh, effective co-op play. Sure. Awesome. And I'll just do a quick reminder. This game is going to be available in about three weeks now. So if you'd like to get your copy, uh, you need to click that link or type it in. And that will take you to the page to buy a copy, get expansions, all that. Free order copy. Yes. Yeah, you can bring a copy now. If you're going to Origins, you can get a copy right there. Yep. And nice. uh, the game designer will be at Origins. I will. If you and want him to like sign. Winter Girl eighty four. Thank you very much.
positive feedback is always appreciated. Yes, and, uh, and also we like people who back stuff on Kickstarter. That really like helps that out too. a lot. Yeah. You, you're taking a risk with us, and we appreciate it every moment. Yes. Uh, sometimes the uh, gaming public out there thinks that I will respect them more if they come to me with criticisms of my game when they come to talk to me. <laughs> that is not, in fact, the case. What I like is compliments. <laughs> compliments. Thank you. Uh, Honor si Hodor 64, is you. that a close enough view of the card? I'm going to leave it oh, up Oh, no, no, no. That's probably not going to be close. You can move it closer to the camera. Yeah, All right. Raise it up. Raising the roof here. Oh, and you've got it upside down. I've got it upside down. You can read upside down, right? All right. There we go. There you go. Yay. We, we, we did it. Awesome. Uh, fun fact, the uh, backs of the book decks are all the cover art from the books in the novel series. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. So all I like those little details. That's mm -hmm. always nice. Uh, uh, Tyler Walpole made uh, all of the card art. Yes. And Beautiful Chris, art. Yes. Beautiful. All of this is, is amazing art. And then Chris McGrath yes. uh, did, the, did the cover art. He's done the cover art for all of the novels, which, of course, are these cards. Mm -hmm. And he also did original cover art for the, the box game, itself. Which right? you see up on the screen. Which shirt. you can see up there, where Harry is appropriately not wearing a hat. Never yes. wears a hat So is this solo playable, or yeah. with only one playing Harry alone? Uh, no, you play three characters, okay. and you, you cycle right. through it. So for those of you who are not deep in the Dresden Files, I will briefly explain Sean's hat reference. Uh, on the covers of all the books in the series, uh, Harry is depicted wearing a hat. Usually uh, a Wide-brimmed. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but in fact, in none of the books is he ever described as wearing a hat. Uh, and at some point in the books, he even talks about a dislike of hats. Yeah. Uh, I think he like throws on a, a ball cap at one point when he goes to the horror con yeah, or something, something like that. Like but that. it's very much not a wide brim fedora. Like right. that is decidedly not the hat he ever Okay, wears. that's amusing. Right. And so to have the uh, um, the artist for the book jackets create a hatless picture of Harry. For the first time, for the game box was a very special. This thing is a very for controversial thing. Although yeah, well, I will point out, if you look at that cover real closely, there is a black hat on it. So. Uh, oh yes, yes, because you guys, your yeah. company, yes. Yeah. No, no accident there. Um, um, too bad you couldn't get your logo hat. on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, that would be great. Uh, can you reach the evil hat card out of the box without disturbing? I will do the what setup I can. Too much? Yeah. Or maybe we can get uh, it's in the Ed box. to grab it for us. Yes, when, when he comes back, we'll, back we'll, it. We'll, we'll show you. A, we'll show you a, a special Kickstarter reward. Yes, uh, the evil hat card. Is, yeah, there's an evil hat card. There's yeah. an evil hat card. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so uh, now I am demonstrating setup. I believe if you yep. got the full moon yep. deck. Yeah, there's the full okay. moon deck. So uh, the book deck is 13 cards, with the 13th card being uh, the showdown card so you put the showdown card up here in the corner and i'll just show that to people who are interested to get Oops. going and so here's our oh, showdown for today the card down okay. can you grab it thank yeah. you i could go after it but then there'd be this hideous fatty grunt that nobody wants to hear <laughs> <laughs> or do they there's somebody uh, somebody somebody nobody there's wants to hear it somebody. except for that one person <laughs> yeah and that's their thing all right uh so then we deal out the oh, shuffle no, up. Alteris, you are not the only one. Uh, we have, yeah. We have gotten many comments. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Winter Girl Ooh. 84, uh, do not do not lose lose faith. Uh, this game uh, can be very punishing, but it does reward multiple plays. A that lot. seems like a good spot to put that. Ooh. Yeah, I'm liking that. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna give us a break. Yeah, yeah look at that deal. They stack the deck. Oh yeah, totally. Out there. They, they stack it. <laughs> All right. So now, normally, if uh, one of the obstacles or advantages had come out at range six, we would Move slide it, it to switch with the closest sure. case or foe. So there's always a case or foe in the last range position. Um, for a normal difficulty game, the total pool of fate is 13 fate points, which is the most fate you can have generated at any one time. Uh, for a normal difficulty game, you start with eight of the fate. If you want to play uh, a game on the easier mode, you start with all 13 fate. Okay. Um, which does make the game easier, but sometimes um, can make people play a little bit less optimally because they don't recognize that the first most optimal thing for them to do is perhaps use their talent on the first turn. If we have all the fate, they won't think about that. So something to consider. Yeah. Gamer Roddy wants to know how many books are in the core game. 
In the core game set, there are five books, and then we have uh, four the more. expansions. We have an additional six books. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Sorry. two per expansion. Two per two expansion. expansion. Two, wow. two books That's and two characters per expansion. So for yep. ten. For ten. And the MSRP on one of those expansions is only ten bucks. So that's actually yeah, not hard. Wow. Con considering yeah. that uh, often when you first play a game, it several. I mean, we did Stormfront, but Eric and I have played Stormfront hundreds of times at this yes. point, and we and we got lucky as well. I mean, literally there were two die rolls that were very very luck fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, but each each book does take its own kind of skill set, uh, mm -hmm. and so. There's quite a few plays per, per book before. I mean, yeah, that was still challenging. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was um, still a challenge. I've uh, generated far more content for this game than any game I've designed previously. It took me uh, well over a year to design all the content for this game just because Evil Hat wanted so much stuff for it. Uh, but the thing that really keeps it fun is designing the new book decks and trying to make a new logistics puzzle that reflects the storyline yep. of the novel. Yeah, really reading through it, picking what the cards are going to be mm -hmm. and what they're going to do and how it makes yep. sense. Trying to find some way to represent the events of the story, not just with the card titles and the text, but the action of the cards. Yeah, yeah like how in the last one you had to complete a certain uh, mission in order to be able to right. uh, start attacking the Shadow Man or find yep. him. Exactly, which Harry had to do. And, yeah. and even the little thing like the Speed Potion helped Harry get away from Kal mm -hmm. in the book. Mm -hmm. So uh, by putting him at the end of the row, it's like, you can deal with that problem later. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh, so there was, there's a whole, there's a lot of nuance in there. Right. For fans. So in this story, for example, uh, it's all about werewolves and there are like three different kinds of werewolves in the, in the book. There's three in different the varieties verse, of werewolves. Yeah. And uh, a, so a lot of that novel revolves around whether the moon is full or not at a certain point point in time in the storyline and so mm -hmm. the lunar cycle is one of the obstacles you have to overcome ah. and until you overcome it you can't damage either of the main werewolf foes it's actually the same werewolf just appearing at different times in the story the Lugaru at the precinct and, and the, the Lugaru Lugaru at marcones yeah. interesting yeah yeah for fans there's the uh there's there are werewolves uh, uh there are hexen wolves mm -hmm. and there are Lugaru. we won't yeah. tell you the details of those because you should read book two of the Dresden Files yep. to find out. Uh, or, as I would say it if I were Cajun, Darugaru! <laughs> All right. Yeah, Darugaru. Okay. okay. Uh, so, having done... So, uh, that's the uh, setup for the book. Okay. Uh, as far as your characters go, when you're picking characters, uh, if you... There are dividers, which I don't have one handy, but the dividers that come with the game for the different book decks give you a, a basic idea of what the strengths of each character are. Mm -hmm. um, they'll let you know, is this character better at investigating, better at attacking? So you can just choose your character decks randomly if you want for an interesting game. <laughs> um, I like the which, random. Once you're, once you're more experienced, that's probably a good way to go. Uh, but you may want to look at the scenario and see, well, um, is it one with more foes or one with more cases? Ah, uh, it's and, like this one has more foes than cases. Right. Yeah. Uh, similarly, you know, so if one has uh, two obstacles and two advantages, that's about average for a scenario. If one's a little more lopsided one way or the other, there are certain characters who have more overcome cards or more take advantage cards. You can balance it that way. Uh, Michael is generally much better in a scenario that has at least the average amount of overcome and advantage cards because that's the way his deck is ah, okay yeah. if you notice most of the most effective things that did last time were taking advantage or an overcome and also putting hits and clues around it right stabity stabs uh, yep. stabity <laughs> stab <laughs> well, okay the stabby stab wasn't bad uh harry is mostly is kind of a balanced character between mm -hmm. the two capacities um billy and georgia are more attacky being werewolves yep uh and susan rodriguez being a reporter is more investigating Although she can do damage to a foe if she does an expose investigation on a case and solves it. Ah. <laughs> she can hurt your reputation, which is a very serious thing. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> what characters are you going to be playing for this chapter, this book? Well, let's see. Do you want to do uh, one more with the characters we started with, or do you want to switch it up at this I'm time? fine either way. Okay, we're going to play more than we're going to play another game after this. Probably, okay, right? yeah, yeah, we'll do one more. Then let's at least. do one more with the characters let's we started with, so people get the swing of it, yep. and then we'll switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. 
heroic logic, uh, where you say gur gur, a dog howl. Oh, nice dog. Nice. <laughs> okay, so draw five cards again. Yeah, uh, five cards again. Uh, so just for the benefit of uh, people out there, if you're playing with uh, five players, you get four cards. If you're playing with three players, you get seven cards. If you're playing with two players, you mix uh, two decks together and get a hand of nine cards out of the two decks. And if you're playing uh, solo, you actually play like a three-player game with one less card in each deck all laid out in front of you, face up on the table. Okay, and walk a little softly. It causes earthquakes. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Like, oh, flip do, our stunts. Uh, we need to flip our stunts back over. Box over oh, no. where Sean can reach it. Play He's going to occasionally dig a card out of there that we want to show the audience. And you need to flip your stunt back. All right. And did you want me to do uh, more of a teach this time um, around, an overview teach? Or yeah, do let's do a little bit of a okay. teach as we go. As we go. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, you can start either way. Which would you prefer? Let me do a quick overview because that's what I'm more practiced at. Okay, and that I'll make sounds it good. Fast. Okay. So here is the quick teach for this game. So this is a true cooperative game. You are playing as a team against the game itself. As a team, you share a pool of action points, which are called fate points. On most turns, you are going to play a card from your hand. You are either going to spend that amount of fate in order to take the action on the card, or you're going to discard the card to generate that amount of fate for the team to use later. If you do that, if you discard a card to generate fate, you get to use the power of your talent card. So in my case, uh, my talent is every time I make fate, I could slide an obstacle or an advantage card up or down one in range in order to get it, make it easier for us to take out or get it out of our way. Um, there are four kinds of cards in all the players' decks. Attack cards, investigate cards, cards, overcome cards, and take advantage cards. Each one targets a specific kind of card out here in the book rows, the color match type of card. Um, you'll notice that all of the cards have a range value. That's how far you can reach into each row in order to target a card. So this is range one, range two, range three, range four in both rows. The range is up to that number. Uh, if you are targeting an obstacle or an advantage, all you have to be able to do is to reach the target card with the card you played. So if I play this take advantage card, I spend one fate, I remove that card from the row, and I enact its effect. So the advantage cards give the team a one-time benefit when they get taken. The obstacle cards create an ongoing problem for our team until we remove them. And once we remove them, that effect isn't bothering us anymore. That's nice. Now, the investigation and attack cards, in addition to having a range, add some amount of hits or clues to the target. So we target the investigation. We add the requisite amount of clues to it. When that gets up to the solve value for the case, we take the case out of the row, and it becomes a point for our team. So every investigation, every case that we solve by the end of the game is a victory point for our team. Every foe that we fail to defeat by the end of the game is a victory point for the game. We have to have more cases than the game has foes. In order to win, we lose on the tie. Um, so those are the actions in your deck. In addition to that, you have your talent, as I mentioned, and you have your stunt. Your stunt is a one-time special power that you get to use. Oh, I'm not really helping by turning that around that way, am I? I'm showing a stunt card there we go. blown up right now. Uh, I can't help responding like I am. You're sitting right there on the other side where the camera is, and I'm teaching you. Okay. You're used to teaching at cons. I'm used to teaching people and not so much the internet. All right. Yes. <laughs> so, oh, the internet is made of people. It's made of people in, in a good way. All right. <laughs> Uh, so grind them up. <laughs> Not in a soylent <laughs> green a kind of way. Put a little vinegar in <laughs> there. There we go. Yeah, that's important because because uh, people are you know acidic. Anyway, yeah. uh, so the uh, the stunt is a one time. <laughs> Let me get back to the teach of the game. Yeah. The stunt <laughs> is a one time special power that uh, you get to use once during the game. It doesn't cost any fate. Um, the only restriction on its use is that uh, it has to be able to have an effect for you to use it. You can't burn it on a turn just to pass when it would do nothing. Yep. So, for example, Harry's stunt will do up to the last four of damage needed to finish off a foe. 
but if there is no foe within four being defeated, he can't use it at all. So you really want to make sure that uh, all the players get a chance to use their stunts because you get a hand of cards at the beginning of the game and there is no standard draw up during the game. The only way you get any more cards is if you take advantages that give you cards or if one of the players has a stunt or a special effect that gives somebody a card. But mostly that start hand is what you have to play. So you have to budget your cards very carefully. The game isn't going to get any more cards as it goes along and we aren't going to get any more cards as it goes along. So the game continues uh, until, uh, generally, until we decide we're ready to end it. There's a couple of things we could do wrong that would move the fate pool below zero fate, which would end the game instantly. He Don't almost that. did that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I had a did. two and three chance of not nuking the world. And it uh, worked out, so, you know, no harm, no foul, like the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> oh. All right. He's not wrong. Yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> Uh, time. We are an hour into the into the stream. Hour and a half, about. Oh yeah. So oh, really? okay, at 8 sure. p.m. So in 40 minutes, we'll be doing the free game draw. Oh, okay. So if you click on Good, keep in mind. TV, follow okay. them. Yep. Yeah. So uh, basically, the game ends when we choose to end it most of the time. Uh, whenever we can see that we're not going to finish off any more cases or foes, we're going to use the rest of our cards to generate fate points, and then we're going to go into the showdown phase. In the showdown phase, we're going to get a final rollout against each case or foe that we've damaged but haven't finished off. Now, the base roll that we get on each of those is six fate dice, which is not normally very good odds. Let's see if we can repeat the fabulous roll that I roll. Well, no. that, that would be a pretty good roll, actually. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad, pretty but that's roll. not your roll from but before. But that's just, <laughs> yeah, that's, and it's just one, in fact. That's two minuses, three pluses. That's a roll of one. So, yeah. not great odds. However... If we have fate points, we can spend the fate points to add a base value to that roll to improve our chances. So we get our, foe, our roll out at the end, and then if we have more cases than foes, we win. And if not, we don't. Yeah. And that is the quick version of the teach. Okay. Cool. Uh, a few things we mentioned, but they were out of arm reach, was uh, one thing was the character cards. So in the character right, card... The dividers. You can see in the divider, uh, this is Harry's, it tells you how many... Uh, of each type of card they have, so... And you're upside down. I'm upside down again. Wow, I yep. am not able to orient things. All and right. go left a little bit? Yeah, yeah. There you go. There, there we, we go. Six so Harry has three attack cards, three investigate cards, two overcomes, and two take advantages. And it also gives you a sense of their relative strength. Harry's attacks are strong, his investigates are very strong, his overcomes and takes advantages, yeah, not so much. <laughs> um, the other thing was, as we were talking about... <laughs> Would Harry Dresden ever be seen with an evil hat? And the answer is, only if you're good friends with Jim Butcher. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And that is a that is a as an add-on card as a Kickstarter bonus. It's part of the side jobs. So if there's any way to get bored of this game with the existing mm -hmm. combinations, there's another thing where there's all these uh, books that Jim wrote that are that are you know canonically the, the side jobs, and they're like books like Warrior. That are little stories, little short stories, and so the game emulates those by sort of making a hodgepodge of characters, and you can kind of make a random deck of yep. foes. And uh, so this, uh, the evil hat, uh, can be in one of those. You can put this one in your random decks as one of the foes to defeat. Yep. Oh, interesting! Uh, when defeated, Harry's player may shout, "I don't do hats." If he does, Harry's draw, Harry draws a card. Yep. Oh, nice! That's a nice touch. So. It is. I will note that that is the only card in the game with a uh, silly moon-like effect like that on it. We don't usually do that kind yes. of say this, get a bonus. Right, 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 yep. right. right. That, that's very much the one joke card that we allowed ourselves. Yes. Okay, so I think we're good to head into mission two. I think we are. Second so, book. So uh, right. shuffle up your deck and draw yourself a hand of five cards. Yeah, now there's, uh, while you're doing that, so each deck has its own sort of yep. uh, uh, caveats, provisos. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this one is that the Luguru are protected until we overcome the Lunar Cycle. So when yeah. we overcome this, we can damage these, these two cards. But until okay. then, they're like Kalshazak in the last game. They can't be defeated. Okay. The other one is that when when you uh, are saved by Terra West, you get to uh, take two cards. And also, you could add two clues to uh, which wolf is which, which is this case mm -hmm. over here. Mm. And this one, which is handily right up front, seems great, except that... We can't actually take that advantage until we've solved at least one case. 
So it's not as fortuitous a placement as we might think. No. Yeah. Um, and uh, when we take the advantage, it will add one hit to all the foes, uh, which will set Billy and Georgia up perfectly. To use my to use yeah. my stunt. And, so we really want to solve yes. a case, and then take, take that, that advantage, advantage and, and then train right. from there. And this is the novel in which your characters were introduced, and so uh, the, ah. the book is meant for you to kind of have some little advantages. And... That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I could be really useful if I went first. Okay. Just yeah. pointing that out. Uh, okay. F a fun fact. Uh -huh. um, I only have overcome and advantage cards, which is a miraculous thing to have in a deck of, in a hand of five cards. Yeah. Yep. Um, so anything that says overcome or take advantage, I'm happy to uh, take care of because that's all I can do this game. Interestingly, I, I, I'm also also, overcome as well. Oh, you, <laughs> okay. So one of the things we want to note is it's going to be very important for us to draw the cards that that advantage allows us to draw. <laughs> yeah. So that you two can get some other things to do. Yeah. That would be really nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, you two have got uh, overcome and take advantage in abundance. Oh, I actually managed to draw a reasonable portion of that myself. How are you fixed for different card types? Uh. Pretty much a rainbow. Okay. Well, hey, that's good. That's, good. that's right. very good. A uh, rainbow is not all yellow and purple, and that's yeah. a good thing at the moment. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, let's see here. Um, I am thinking that uh, can't do anything <laughs> about this right away. Yep. We need to start working on that uh, cheap investigation so that we can get this. And... Uh, these are going to be cheap and easy for us to take out. Yeah. yeah. Do those early. Um, my thought is, so do uh, you, the two of you have overcome cards? Do you have cheap yeah. overcome I cards? Have an, I have an extremely cheap overcome card, and but I also have one that would be really good for helping with the clue, either way. Helping with the clue? Okay. Helping with this one specifically. Okay. How about you? I'm all overcome and take advantage all the time. I would love it if the lunar cycle was in between the Luguru and the fight street wolves. Okay. Um, okay. But I would be fine either taking uh, the arrest warrant out right. very cheaply, or if you, uh, if Billy and George want to do it, uh, as long as if, if you want to start and move the lunar cycle mm -hmm. down one, that would be great. Or if you want me to start. At, Okay, either one, either okay one, so, right. so, so I can do some clues. Yeah. Why don't you target that arrest warrant, Okay. and then he can swap cards, and then I can do some clues, and then we'll get it back around. Um, okay, but it sounds like it might be better if you target the arrest warrant, and he targets the lunar cycle, and I, I move can the do lunar both. cycle both. Yeah. Back? Okay. Yeah, trust yeah. me. I got lots of overcome cards here. All then right. let's have him do both. That well, seems good. Okay, okay. Uh, if so, you want to go first, though, that's that's a well. Yeah. No, you know. no. I think with what we're talking about, unless uh, unless uh, Sarah, uh, Susan's got something over here yeah, that Susan, might be do you have to go a, first. Do you have a plan of attack that you'd like to dive in? That you'd like to go first, particularly in terms of maybe investigating a little bit. Yeah. Up front. What's, she had a question. What's the star behind the number? Oh, so the star means essentially you have to read the text effect to see how that number is enacted. Yeah. All right. Okay. I was like, wait, what's this? All right. Check it, um, audience. Not very. Am I going first then? Uh, well, that's what we're wondering. Do you do you have a good reason why you would like to go first? Yeah. Hmm. If you can dig into which wolf is which uh, right now. Which. Although I think that's going to be just as good whether one. she does it right off the bat because or I, whether it gets to her. I cannot read the text. That'd so be this one. Second one. Yeah. Oh, and how? Uh, the other notion is: should I actually move? Because I can still move this back, even though we can't take it out. Yeah. Maybe we should be moving up which wolf is which to make it a little easier. Yeah. Would it be easier for folks to target if which wolf was which is the I'm first fine. place? And by well, by folks, we really mean you. Yeah. Because yeah. we think you're the one who has the ability to I do could, this. Technically, I could, but it would be too expensive for what it's worth. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So that probably means you have some range and can do it anyway. All okay. Right. Then we should probably start with Sean okay. is... So I'm going to get rid of my advantage oh, you're going card. First? I think so. Okay. I think that's the way to go. Cool. Um, so I am I'm going to generate two fate. 
Cool, Vance. That's always useful. And I'm going to move the lunar cycle back into Perfect. position for Sean. Awesome. Um, so why don't you go ahead and take the... Well, yeah, either way. You You're can, both in the same position. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead and keep go. one on clues. I'll get rid of the arrest warrant, and the next one I'll get rid of the lunar cycle. Okay, that sounds good. Um, then I will play uh, Track Scent. I'm going to spend four fate. It's important I do this first because I cannot complete one with yep, it. Yep, right. So I will place four clues onto which wolf is which. Nice. nice. That's a that's a good hit yep, to start with. Start for that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Seeing that we will probably need more fate, considering you two, um, <laughs> and you guys also have most of the overcome cards, I'm going Though, to... if you can finish this off, that would be even better. It's still too expensive okay. for what it's worth, okay. so I'm just going to generate four fate for wow. us, All right. and, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. worth it. Yeah, doing. oh, four fate's a lot. Yeah, that's and awesome. you get to add a clue. And you get to add a clue to the case of the shortest range, so... Yay! Uh, Yay. <laughs> which wolf is which is only two clues away. Yeah, nice. 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 All right. Uh, I'm going to start with some prayer. Let's everybody take a moment to... No. Um, <laughs> spending one fate... And I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, overcome the arrest warrant. So Yay! that made we didn't do them, but that made all attacks cost uh, plus one. Uh, yep. And uh, so that's right, actually made them. Plus. It actually oh. made the attacks do one less hit. One less yeah. hit. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there we go. Okay. All right, so now if there's a decent amount of fate left in the pool, I can get rid of Lunar Cycle and also do some uh, ancillary benefits. Okay. How expensive is your card to get rid of Lunar Cycle? It's pretty expensive. It is? Yeah. Hmm, I might but be able to do it cheaper. Uh, it, the advantage is it'll put hits on both right. of the things around it. Oh, right. He's got his spray damage yeah. card there. That's why um, I want to have it in between those. So things, if you could, that'd be good. If you can make some fate this turn, I can take out which wolf is which right now. Yeah, that's what I'll plan on doing is making fate. Okay. So I am going to spend three, and uh, I'm going to roll for range for form's sake, but I can't actually miss what I want to do. All right. All right. But technically, you could now that you have a range of four. You could put the clues on who set up Marco. I could. You wouldn't. But I won't. <laughs> <laughs> So that is cleared. Nice. There yeah. we go. And so, that means that we can now grab that advantage. Nice. Yeah. That's, that's... Could somebody read that? So, um, cannot take until at least one case has been solved. When taken, add one hit to all foes and collect uh, three plus two dice of fate. Um, I should note that before that gets taken, we need to have Michael use his stunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You, and, yeah. I, I apologize. I'm holding things up because I want mm -hmm. to both use lunar cycle so that these foes, so that these foes can be hit. Yep. And I want to use my stunt. Right. But and these are the key logistics decisions in the game. We have to decide: is it best to kind of keep him on his long plan of doing both of those things, or are we better off giving up on half of his plan? Maybe having him use a stunt and have him take out the obstacle, right. or have him go up, go after the obstacle and give up on his stunt. So I think know. I'd rather have him do the obstacle because the wounds help, and mm -hmm. I can generate quite a bit of fate then, which okay. is always useful. Awesome. Good. Okay, so is it my turn? No. Oh, uh, it is. It is. Oh, it is. Uh, I did my thing. Yep. I um, Harry solved, solved the case. case. Oh, yeah, he yeah. solved the case of which wolf. Okay, so I'm going to... I solved the case and you didn't even notice. I'm going to do right. strength in numbers and generate us three fate. Cool. Um, and... Now, I deal one hit to the furthest along. Nice. Uh, uh, so, worth noting that the escape street wolves, when defeated, uh, remove one clue from any one case. Ah. Just a thing we got to deal with. However, right now we have no clues on any cases, so... Convenient. Yeah. All right, Susan. Mm, okay. I'm just not sure what would be best. Uh, putting uh, hits on... Right now, probably... You can't put hits on this yet. Yeah, putting put hits, hits on, on either me. of these two foes would be great. Yeah. Putting clues on this case would be great. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. I would not want you to take that advantage yet because it would miss several foes that aren't legal hits, and also it would, it would trump the stunt. But In case any of you wondered whether I'm really a gamer or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, is this illegal so far? That's it illegal. illegal. Yeah, you can't ah. hit that until next round. All right. Hmm. 
um, I could either generate a little bit of fate, or... Fate never hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah, and um, you're going to add a clue by doing that. So or that I could well. use a pretty extensive amount of fight to put some clues on. Is it a large amount of clues? Is it like a hefty one, or is it a... Large amount of clues. Large amount of clues. Um, I would like to have a decent amount left in the pool to get rid of the Lunar Cycle, okay. but, um, but I also... I have played a lot of cards, so I could yeah. switch my tactic around and use my. I say maybe you hold off your your big attack for one turn or so, and we'll see yeah. if we can set you up to use it next turn. Or the big investigate, you mean? Oh, is it a big investigate? It's Sorry, a big investigate. I that. It is an investigate. Let's, uh, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yes. I'm the most indecisive person. Uh, do you I have know, a junk so card no. you don't need to use, like an overcomer an advantage? <laughs> Yeah, which will only generate. Yeah, toss a of, bit, toss so. of that. No, that's great. Yeah, just toss it. One of those. Oh, oh yeah, that's one. One. There no, we go. that's perfect because Ooh, yeah. it it you gain us one fate. You put a clue there, and you're not gonna use it because trust me, I got I'm so all over advantages yep. and overcomes. You don't even <laughs> don't even want to know. This is this is my hand. Uh, all right, I am going to use the fist of God again. Uh, is that well? So cool. I, uh, I, 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 I played it. I'm going to do it. Um, Fist of God. Spend four fate. I'm going to remove the lunar cycle, which means these foes are now hittable. And since having done that, I'm going to drop two clues two, on... Two wounds. Two wounds. wounds. Yep. yep. Two, two hits. We need even. a choir to say the name of that card every time it's played. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fist of God! <laughs> you know what? I... Um, Notice we're not in tune. I just realized <laughs> we actually don't get to do that. Because the obstacle is in effect until the end of the action at which you remove it. All right. Ah. Okay. Well, then I only put clues there. Or I could... Uh, well, there's no other obstacle. That, I mean, I've played the card at this yeah. point. So yeah. that was my choice. All right. Okay, cool. I, And I should have pointed that out to you before you did that. No worries. No, I uh, wasn't actually, thinking about it. That's, that's, no, that's a great clarification of the order of operations, which yep. is that the card, all of its effects happen at once. So it does it removes an obstacle and it puts the hits. And, ah, and yeah. it's, it's the, I was removing the obstacle that prevented the hits from being done. So the hits were not right. legal as of the playing of the card. Right. As soon as the action he took is done, then the obstacle is no longer in effect. So in effect. other words, he was trying to cheat and make the game easy for us. Yeah, it's all cheating. Yeah. <laughs> that is me. If you like playing the game better the way he played it, meh, it's all right. Yeah, okay. Eric will just judge you. I just, silent. <laughs> okay, so uh, I promised to make a bit of fate. I could uh, toss a really good card to make a lot of fate. I'm hoping we can get by with me just making a little bit. Just make fate. a little bit. We'll be um, good. Sure. Okay, doke. So I, don't need I will for anything at this point. generate one fate. Cool. Okay. And, and you get a swap I could, something. I could slide uh, Save by Terra West up a little bit if that would, that be, would good. be great. All right, let's do it. That'd be perfect. Oh, so that he can do another split attack. I, I don't actually have that one, but I can get it very inexpensively now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to discard my uh, Lupine Leap and generate a Fate, and I also add a hit to that guy. Yeah, there we Excellent. go. Okay, do you plan on using any expensive cards? No, I plan on using my Stunt uh, to put uh, three hits on some foe right now. So. Which sets okay, it up then... for me to do... Right. Well, it also means that once we take that advantage... Can you take that it. advantage? That would oh. be. Ideal. Oh, you're right. My stunt only works on something that doesn't uh, have any hits on it. That's right. Sorry, Sorry, my bad. No problem. But uh, on the other hand, if you could take that out, that'd be fine. Although I'm sure one of these guys can get it. Yeah. So this is ex. Uh, not me. Um, I don't have so I think I, I, I think if you want to go ahead and spend uh, all that fate to use your big investigate yeah, card, yeah, you fine. hold on to that. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Blow it. Use it. Blow it. Three Blow range. It. She's got it. All right, it's so five fate? Four. Yes. Four, four fate. Five, five, five fate. fate. Okay. Yeah, okay. Five fate for four clues. I like it. So we're going to... And it's this is the only thing you can target? Yep. Who set up Marcone is close to solving. Yep. Okay, so it didn't solve it. Yeah. It, didn't it didn't solve, solve it, it, so she doesn't get that bonus ability okay. because it didn't solve it. But 
it's often the case that you can't get yeah. that effect. It's tough to get the timing just right. That yeah. one is hard to synergize. I mean, those, if you solve it, are they're mm -hmm. hard to synergize. Yeah. A lot of times they're big ones. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and use my stunt. I will pull out Amaracus. Uh, and I'm and and I have I have a target rich environment. So the interesting thing here is that I can only hit legal uh, targets with no hits on them. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is legal right now though. There's because lunar cycle is gone, so I can hit any of these three. And when I do, it puts three hits on them, and it puts them at the it moves right. them to the end. Ooh. So is there anybody that we would like to see further down so we can work on stuff? So I think. In some ways, it would be better for you to hit that, because if you hit one of those two, his talent is going to start working on that one, the mm -hmm. one that's at the end. Mm -hmm. um, and that one's going to be fairly fair from far from dying, whereas this one's pretty close. No, if, if he moves it, yeah, if he moves the eight back or the ten back, it's a problem. This one right. or cool. this one. Well, I can't do this one, so I'm going to go ahead and do the loop guru precinct. Yep. Uh, I'm going to going to move that back all the way, Amarakis, and I'll I will. Uh, Put three hits on it. All right. Nice. And my stunt is used. Okay. And so now um, uh, I think I'm going to skip my big attack card because I think people need – I could also uh, – I could take one of those advantages cheaply. Um, yeah, if, that, you want, if you want to. That's – Although I think uh, – I think – well, you got to spend a lot of fate last turn. Sonia, so I think we can <laughs> make you make fate this turn. That's only fair. Uh, I think I should probably take this out, and then you can go ahead and do your stunt. Ooh. Be oh, that would, that, yeah, that would put that'd the boost. That would be perfect. Yeah, right, that'd be let's great. do it. So one, okay. So now, or it's this one. Oh, well, wait a minute. No, the other no, one. It's the top, top one. one. There we go. Um, can't take, we had one hit to all foes. All right. And it's only legal foes, but thankfully they're, they're all legal. legal right now. Yep. Because the moon is full. Yeah. And one more on that ten banger. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Because if you shoot a werewolf when the moon isn't full, that's technically just homicide. So you can't do that, really. Right. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. doesn't kill people. Yeah, I suddenly want a magnifying glass on all the clue tokens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't explain why. <laughs> well, that was true at one time uh, in the Karim's design. And now we get to collect uh, three and two dice worth of fate. And so oh, we get two. two. We get two fate. Cool. Okay. That's more fate than we had. Yep. Okay. Well, the only useful thing I could do is. Oh, hold on. He gets oh, to go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. My bad. I do that um, all the time. Ooh. Oh right. I have to play my card. No. Um, yeah. You, well, you don't have to, but you're. It's you're a good playing. idea to play yeah, my stunt. It's never going to get any better than right yeah, now. Yeah. So I'll play my stunt, which deals one hit to all foes that have at least one hit. Nice. That's all foes. Because of Terra West. Still, it's not looking very good for us right now. Well, it's a little hard to tell. Though, uh, if we get them all low, that plays to our advantage for the final round. It does, but it's true that you don't want to disperse your damage across everything. You want to concentrate on yep. just the number of cards you need to win. Well, Harry yeah. has the Blasting Rod, which will do four hits to any foe yep. that can be defeated by four hits. That would take out this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one is one hit away, so if you discarded a card, that would take out that one. Yep, that's a good so that's point. two foes that we know we could take out without any card expenditure. That makes yep. sense. Well, a card expenditure. But... Um, in fact, let me make a quick plug here that that point of advice to uh, not disperse your uh, hits and uh, clues too much is one of the pieces of advice you will find in a series of strategy articles about this game that are going to be written by my friend Shannon Applecline. He's working on them right now, noted game scholar, yes. author of the Designers and Dragons yes. History of Role-Playing. Also published by Evil Hat. Evil Hat, and those articles are going to get published on the Evil Hat website. Yeah. Nice! Yeah. And awesome. It's going to be a pretty deep dive. Yes. Uh, Shannon's yes. also done a similar type of dive, uh, strategy guide for the Pathfinder uh, adventure mm -hmm. card game. Which we're doing on Saturday nights. Nice. Uh, so yeah, he, he's, he's, he's really dug into it uh, because Shannon lives near Eric and, and mm -hmm. myself as well. He, he's seen this game in its inception as well. Yep. Oh, apparently somebody working on the app for this game is oh, watching. Hey, that Tess. Would be Tess. Hey, Tess. How's it going? Yeah. Tess is, <laughs> she's, she's making the, uh, the app as we yep. speak. Is it an app to help play the game mm -hmm. or is it an app to 
That is the game. It is an app that is the game. Yeah. Oh, you lucky. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Coming along, I'm well, very it, excited about it. Made the deck of fate, which is a fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, which I is... hear I hear apps make a lot of money these days for board games. Uh, I would not say no to lots of money. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying. So, um, I have to say I'm excited about that, too, because I will likely pick it up on my iPhone. I yeah. presume it will be there. Yeah. There are also great promotional tools for the physical game Oh, as well. yeah, that's yeah. a good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, in 15 minutes, we'll be doing the drawing. Excellent. All right. Okay. Anyone who wants a free game copy, just follow uh, Gamerati yeah. TV. Gamerati TV, say something so we can... So we they can, can click on your name, Gamerati? Yeah. Awesome. And I believe you're up. Yeah. Um, what do you guys say, Susan? Generating fate. Okay. Ooh, for fate. Perfect. All right, nice. we'll take it. Um, disappointed. Well, I was hoping to use it. I but, actually, you know, I, I almost, I almost think we should have had one, you hold so. on to that. Yeah, card, yeah, that might be better to hold on to. Clues. Yeah, you yeah. can finish that one. Hold, hold on to that one. Do you have something else you can dump, or you could use your stunt to get another card right now? Oh, that yeah. would be useful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you do that? So, all right. So, again, Susan is going to stunt herself. Now she could make it another player's turn and have that player draw a card, but it's probably more efficient right now for her to draw herself. Yeah, because yeah. then worst case okay. scenario, she draws a different card she could discard and not have to get rid of that yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But even better. So you draw a card and else? then you take another turn. Did you get something awesome? Oh, what's that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hmm. 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 <laughs> decisions, decisions. Aren't decisions they wonderful? Are hard. Yeah. Uh, oh. Still a random. <laughs> this is, what? I think she goes, is suggesting discard. you randomly play a card. I randomly think discard a card. I randomly discard a card. I heartily dis. I heartily Ignore <laughs> the devil in your ears. Yes. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Is Go he on. rapidly oh, becoming an arch villain in the Dresden world or yeah. something? I think I'm just gonna generate fate with this card because cool. it's it's an advantage card. Oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. the fate is not worth the definitely. Rage yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take that good for the, call. the smallest amount Too of fate, much fate we can you make us. Uh, Making us the three. Fate. So oh, nice. a blank result. I'm very happy to do that three you are that investigation. Adding card yeah. a clue to that case. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. Sorry. If we can just get one of the investigations yeah. to the front, that would help. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we, we might be able to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that, but eventually, Harry could almost do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Save by Tara West to get it out of the way. Those of you who know the book series know that uh, Harry's magic will disrupt any technology that's around. So at the moment. Harry's magic is rattling the table a little bit, but yeah. it will pass. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we had some rearrangement for the contest taking place, so we apologize about that. Shaky image, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Kevlar Helps. Uh, it costs one one fate. I'm going to take Save by Tara West. Uh, when taking an active player, draws two cards. Hopefully I'll draw something that's not an up. Take advantage or overcome. And also, it's two clues to which will be left. Yeah, I know. Ooh, I don't. Nice. Uh, so, that um, that clue, that case oh. unfortunately is already solved. Okay. But uh, it does Move slide some these stuff things up. down. Yeah. And, and uh, it's worth noting that I basically two. designed this so there would be so many logistical considerations in any given scenario between everybody's deck that you can never optimize everything. It's a choice of you know what things do you sacrifice and what things do you try to maximize. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that all the cards seem to have real value behind mm -hmm. them, which yeah. is awesome. Even the cheap ones. Because right. the cheap ones are often like, cool, I just need a little bit. It's not overkill. Right. And sometimes the big expensive ones are useless. Uh, if you can't use them, you go, well, at least I can discard them for a lot of fate. So there's there's interplay between – it's the middle ones that are tricky. Right. The three faders that you're like, discard, spend. Right. Yeah. Pretty much all – just about all of the cooperative games are logistics games at their core. I wanted this one to be a mix of logistics and risk management. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. I like that kind of feel myself in games. Mm -hmm. That's actually something we did a little bit in Defense Grid as well, mm -hmm. where – so we have a shared resource pool similar mm -hmm. to what you're seeing here. All players contribute to it by discarding cards. They cool. add to the resource pool. I think that's a clever um, mechanic, sir. Yes. <laughs> fancy that. I didn't even know about this. But you discard into that for the shared resource mm -hmm. pool, but the cards you're discarding are also the cards you use to power towers gotcha. or add special like ammo that. into them mm -hmm. and everything like that. So everybody has to really think, well, do I need this card for mm -hmm. the attack coming up or do we need the resource right now? Gotcha. Yes. Very cool. 
Oh, uh, I really, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking lots of what I'm seeing here for some odd reason. <laughs> yeah, no. What do you know? Great minds. Yes. Uh, so I, I've taken my turn. Harry, it's back to you. Alrighty. Um, I... Yeah, I want to draw, sorry, finals versus DEFCO. Mm. Mm. What was that? One of you all should be studying for finals. You know what? There's a cafe in Berkeley that's open all night that's full of people desperately cramming for their finals. My friends and I like to go there and play board games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's so oh, mean of you. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's uh, just a little bit evil. Just a little evil. Just I love little it. Evil. Evil. evil hats. Little girl. Um, Okay, uh, you know I have this card in my hand. I'm wondering if I really have this in my hand. Do we get? Do we just get a card draw? Uh, uh, no, I drew two cards because of. Okay, you uh, went first. So previously, I don't think I'm supposed to have this card in my you, hand. You should. I think I, the, you, the should have, okay. you should have one card in your hand right now. Okay. What did because I, you, have you haven't a, you haven't used your stunt. No, I ditched this earlier. I think. No, I'm, no, you have a card in your hand because you haven't used your stunt yet, and I have used mine. Now. I've got two cards. Yeah. Okay. All right. I swear that I discarded this card at some Could point for fate, it? but. Um, all right. All right, uh, let's pull the vid. Oh, uh, no, you no, just started no. that last game. Okay, that could be. I may just be mixing things up. All right. Okay, so I could Fuego, or I could make some... Fa oh, actually, I need to see if something is in range of my blasting. It is. That's what Luguru I should be checking. Yeah. Precinct is... Uh, uh, I think it's time to take out the Luguru. Cool. With my stunt, so I'm going to stunt the Luguru. Kaboom. Bam. Look nice. There. Okay. That's very nice. So now we're losing one to four. Okay. But, uh, but if uh, I now have cards that are not in overcome and, and investigate <gasps> and uh, take advantage, and I can discard those because they're not useless. Um, so if we can. We only need one hit on the Street Wolves. Yep. Let's see. So Michael has gotten a special church dispensation to kill things. Yes. So okay. So what now. I'm thinking is I can do massive damage to that. Uh, what's it called? Hexenwolves. The FBI Hexenwolves. Yeah, the FBI Hexenwolves. And then next round I can kill the one all the way in the back. Okay. Yeah. So right. that might I don't be a good like combo. That. Yep, the downside is I'm leaving her with no fate again. Oh. oh. If you could, I mean, if you could. Oh. Well, let, I could reverse that order too. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, why don't you reverse that, that order? Yep. Because that but would, then I will need I a hoping... lot of faith. That's fine, I'll make you a lot of faith. Okay, yeah. well, or, you, or I can. I'll make you um, some amount of faith. Well, I'm assuming I really have this card in my hand, which you somehow do. I just have no faith in. Yes, I can make a lot okay, of faith. Then for you. I will start <laughs> discarding this, create two faith. Okay. And I do the one hit to the furthest foe. Sweet. All right, boom. Right. And, We're only uh, losing what one to three. When that it's, uh, oh, remove eh, remove one clue from any one case. Oh, so, but you know what? I don't do. think we're finishing that case anyway. I don't think it matters. I think we're trying to win by killing all these all right. foes. I am going or... to play an attack. Oh, <laughs> simple, and you're going to kill that front guy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's two two fate, fate but yep. two and fate. It does and two, two damage. Two oh. damage. Excellent. So nice. All right, we're only losing one to two. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Well, um, I can. Uh, I so it's pretty clear we're not trying to solve any more clues. So I'm gonna just go ahead. Will we be able to hit this at its current range? I that, can hit it. That needs eight more hits right now. I can hit it for quite a bit. All right. Um, I could also hit it for quite a bit, but I won't have the fate to do it. I think I'm making fate with this well, card. Well, all right. I'm gonna discard. Oh, and I'll be able to hit it because of my talent. So yes, I'm gonna discard banish the darkness. All right. For three fate, and I'm gonna ready my talent. So now I can hit it. Okay. All right. So I so I can make fate, although my talent doesn't do anything for us mm -hmm. right now. If I do so, I could. Though if I make if you instead attack and I make fate, mm -hmm. I make a lot of fate and I still deal a wound to that guy. Yeah, that's true. So that could be useful. So yeah, that might be the better option. Is okay. your attack gonna put hits? Oh, sorry. Is your attack gonna hit the Hexenwolves or the Luguru? I would be hitting the Luguru. No, no, I mean, if oh, mine. Prepared. I could hit either. Oh, okay. So I could hit either as well. You will only hit the Luguru. Correct. Oh, but the Hexenwolves need less hits. Okay. Right. Uh, well, and we're definitely going to, I think we're definitely going to have to pick up something in the showdown this game. We're not going to win ahead of the showdown. You don't think we can take out both? 
I think it's unlikely. It, that's a... So she might be able to solve that one thing. Well, um... The clue. Either I can use a lot of fate to help solve a case, which is... Can you solve this one outright? No, I don't I have you... the range. So either I can use have... a lot of fate to, you know, add clues to a case, or I can just discard the card and generate a lot of fate. How many cards do you have right now? One. Okay, in my one. hand. Okay. So here's, I think, a, a little bit of a complicated map. I hit this. Yeah. Um, I, well, actually, will I kill it? No, I won't. So never mind. My plan doesn't work because I can't, if we could kill that ahead of her turn, then she could hit That's what that. I was thinking. But there's no way there's going to be enough fate in the pool for you to make an attack, for Aunt, for Billy and George yeah. to make an attack, and for Susan to Well, Jones. Billy and George is, are, I think, are making fate, though. Well, I was just yeah. saying, it, it yeah. said, I think Billy and George have an attack, could use it on that, but we, we don't have enough fate in the pool to do okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Then here, so here's a little example of how you sort of plan for the showdown. If you're not going to get, uh, I mean, you've got a bucket of cards, but I think we're going to have a hard time getting back around you. Yeah, he's only going to get to use one of those. I'm only going to use one of these. Yeah. And I could drop some drop some hits on either foe, okay. or I could generate fate. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking is maybe what we're wanting to shoot for for our end game. Um, Can you also attack? No. Okay. She's got one card. It's I an have investigate. One card, it's investigate. And it uh, can't hit this at its current range. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, so if she's going to generate fate. So if she makes fate, then we. Oh, if she makes fate, we're going to get a clue on that, which is not as yeah. helpful. We got five minutes till the contest. All right. Time's ticking. Right. So, uh, so go I'm. Ahead and I'm follow Gamerati TV to get a chance to. I'm going to hit win something. A free copy of the game. Do yep. it. Roll them bones. Make it happen. Make it rain. And, first, and then fate. see who I'm punching. Okay, I'm adding four hits. If you add four uh, hits to this one, mm -hmm. that'll be at six. You yeah. can add another hit yep. to with the discard. Put it at seven. I can defeat it. Oh, that okay. sounds good. We'll do it. Okay, so now my turn. Yep. I'm just going to discard this for five fate. Awesome. Puts another hit And deal the one wound. Yep. Cool. Um, I'll discard because there's there's nothing else I can do that is yeah. useful. Sometimes for four fate. For four fate. That puts us almost at max. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna spend and a, a chunk of it. Clue there. Yep. Spend away. I'm gonna spend three in a die roll. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh. I only spent two. Oh, it's to save. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, and it's got range one, but because of my holding that of the cross, I'm going to unready my talent to increase that to range three. Nice. And I'm do three hits, which is exactly enough to take yep. out the Luguru. Okay. Yay. So Here now, here's a calculation we have to make. So if we go for another turn, we have to spend three fate for all of us to pass to get back to Yeah, Sean. I can't generate that much. No, he, neither of my cards are big Okay, enough. since he can't generate more than three fate with his cards it's then we just want to end right. it. Does anyone have a stunt they haven't used though? Uh, no. I have already used my Alright, so there's no point in waiting stunted. for a stunt. Then I say we should Right. Not. The only other consideration is if you could finish something with one of those cards we could get it back to you to do that. These cards do not do what we need them to Very do. Very good. Like if you could do like five damage. Yeah, stuff. yeah. If I could just like pull a... a f no. Hmm. Stab. Fair enough. <laughs> bring stabity. Yeah, okay. can't bring the stabity, stabity and card. can't bring the investigity. Okay. Then we gotta end it. All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, we are in the showdown phase. We have a rollout on each of these three cards, although we only have a really good rollout on one of them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we only need one card to win the game. Any one of these cards we get will win us the game. Yep. So, uh, let's take a look at what our odds are here. So, we can spend four fate to get a base of four plus five dice on this card. That sounds ideal. It means all we have to do is yeah. roll even. Yep. Yeah. Now, in other circumstances, we might want to spend our fate more evenly and get an okay roll on each of the three cards, but, but, well, but we're very but we lopsided no, right we now. We don't really... Yeah. Care about the one we have on the a chance row. at the XBI hex and wolves. No, no, I mean we have chance. no chance on the on the right. on the yeah. rescue Marcone. Forget Marcone. Yeah, Marcone. Sorry, he's doomed. He's Marcone. Marcone. He's uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay, so who's gonna roll our five dice? 
He hasn't rolled yet. He oh. hasn't rolled yet. Oh, no pressure. All right. <laughs> Here we so go. So you're rolling oh, five. Oh, don't worry, because this isn't the pressure. So we are spending Nobody's how looking much? at you. Four. Spending the thing four is, the pressure the is... The base roll. of yeah. four plus five dice. The, the pressure is when I fail this roll, and someone has to roll on the hex and rolls. Yeah. See, I'm not worried here, because I got... No! Oh. Come on. That was supposed to be me not yeah. worried, so that meant I rolled well. So uh, we actually only added two clues to that, which yep, is which not going to do the trick. Too shy. Okay, oh. so now I think... As as I, as game designer, have to take responsibility for this. It's your fault, Eric. And Terrible you're rolling roll. on Hex and Wolves. That will cost us three fate. Three fate. Three fate. Is that, that our best us, roll out? Yep, that gives us two base and six dice. Two base yeah, and right. six roll dice. Plus four, Eric. So uh, a secret uh, thing in the game is that the, uh, well, not that secret, the uh, dice colors are meant to match the colors of uh, Bob's eyes, Bob the Skull's eyes. So the orange dice represent normal, good Bob, and the purple dice represent evil Bob. So we're going to try to maximize our good by using more orange dice yeah, than purple that's dice a good in plan. this roll. Oh, oh. oh, it looks so good, except for it's not. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it's all these plus. Uh, it's break even. Yeah, it's break even. So we did two. Two clues. No, yeah, two, two hits. hits. All right, yes. and then we have a rollout, but we cannot generate ten right. clues. It's not possible to do it, so we lose. So okay, sure, my game is hard after all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, even I, as the designer, lose sometimes. And it's eight o'clock, so we should do that. Yeah, we can do the draw now. Excellent Let's timing. Do the draw. We set up. Uh, what we'll is it? Grave peril. We're gonna move on to grave peril, and I think yep. we're also gonna try some new characters. Yeah, we'll talk about the characters. So <laughs> let's. Uh, what do you need? Uh, I should say that three of them will try new characters. Uh, Harry always has to be in the game, so I will continue to be Harry. Okay, Eric, would you roll um, five fate dice for me? Sure. Oh, this is our method? We are doing the roll-off for the winner of the... All right. Ooh. Well, I think this calls for more evil dice. Yeah, so. I think it's an evil. Uh, <laughs> Going to... Okay, so five fate dice is what you want rolled? All right, let's see how we do Comes here. It is a negative one. Yep, negative one. Negative one. You did purples, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mostly purples and one orange. Ah, okay. Yeah, we only have four of each. Okay, so. All right. Uh, so, Anthony, if you would hand me uh, Billy and Georgia. Oh, you already did. You yep. are playing, you are taking the role of uh, Anastasia. I am Anastasia. The warden. This role is negative one. Okay. <laughs> and... Um, do you want the uh, yeah. Sonia, if you'll hand me Susan. Susan there we go. Sonia, you are now playing Sonia. Yay! <laughs> and uh, I am changing things up quite a bit. I'm going from uh, Michael Carpenter to Molly Carpenter. Yep. Michael's daughter. And, well, I'm not going to say more because it would be spoilery. It would. All right. So Grave Peril is the third book. He has played Carpenters all night, and he's only just begun <laughs> to live. But um, bum, bum. Uh, Eric, do you want to do you want to talk a little about Grave Peril? Sure. Uh, deal Grave out, per Grave Peril out, and then I will have an easier time talking about it. Absolutely. Uh, so I should say that Grave Peril, I, uh, by my estimation, I designed it to be one of the harder books in the game, uh, because thematically, you know, each yep, game that you play. Hold on one second. Oh, Oh. So congratulations to Sai Juran. Uh, you won the game. Uh, the Woo! free copy of Dresden Files. Um, how do you want I him to message you and you can just get it to me? What is that? I have a message you. Okay, yeah. So just message uh, me on Forge by Geeks. You just, just click on my name and that'll get the message to me. I'll watch for that message to pop up. If I don't get the message in about the next five to ten minutes, we will pick another winner, unfortunately, uh, because we need to get somebody while the stream is going. So please, uh, I will spell... Like a radio show. Yeah. yeah. You have won a copy of our home game. Must be present to win, yeah. <laughs> yes. So S-I-J-U-R-O-N. If you are there, please, please uh, uh, send me a message. And I think there he does it. Oh, you won! Whoa. Yes! You won. Okay. Yay. So send us a message with your address so we can send a... Uh... Yeah, uh, so, uh, Rico will get a hold of you. We'll get the address and uh, we'll arrange for you to... Yep, you won. <laughs> we'll arrange for you to uh, get the copy. Um... Employees and their spouses and children are not eligible. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Joey, that's to you. Oh. Okay. That's my only employee. Uh, right. <laughs> He's been sassy. 
So we just need uh, address, right? All we need is address and name because we'll have to put a name on the front. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, get an email because we're gonna actually have to ship it and you have to get. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll need... E Just yeah. get an email. Yeah. Give us all the things. Yeah, give us an yes. email and we'll follow up that way. But possibly not right out over the internet for everyone to see. Well, no, no, no. That's it's a in a private, private message. message. Ah, excellent. <laughs> yeah. Tell us your social security number and when so, you're wow. not going to be home. That would be good. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, so uh, since we have new characters... Oh, sorry. You were, you were talking about Great Peril. Great Peril. So, uh, and the... Just thematically, the reason that I made it one of the more difficult books is because it's uh, one of the novels, without giving too much away in case you haven't read them, in which Harry isn't 100% successful in terms of his outcomes. The Ooh. ending is kind of a mixed bag for him. Um, Harry, Harry never loses entirely, and the fact that we're all still here is evidence of that. All right. Okay. So well, you finish setting up. I'm going to do something quick. Go right ahead. Uh, so... Looking at some of the effects we've got out here, we've still managed to get uh, some. So this is a, a book which has uh, more advantages. It's got three advantages in it. And so being able to pick up advantages is going to be important. And Sonia is kind of similar to Michael being also a Knight of the Cross and has rather a lot of um, ability to take out advantages and obstacles. But while Michael has advantage and obstacle cards that will hit the cases and foes around them, Sonya has investigate and attack cards that will also remove an obstacle or a uh, advantage that's next to the target. Nice. So, uh, so we're definitely gonna want to pick up these. Let's take a look at our obstacles. Um, so no hits or clues can be added to cards at a longer range than this card in its row. So that is blocking all this. Well, it's blocking all of these, since these are advantages, technically. Fair. You can still get them. Okay. But on the other hand, it's right up front, so we should be able to get it. Yep. Uh, unless we all draw no obstacle removers, which is unlikely. Not 100% impossible, but unlikely. Uh... And until this is overcome, all cards discarded for fate points generate one fewer fate points, mm. which is really awful obstacle and which is really far away. Yeah. Um, all right, we just want to do another intro. We did get an influx of people. Oh, we did. Okay. So we want to oh, hey. What this is. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Hello, people out there in Internet land. Welcome to our program. Um, so we're uh, playing, we're demonstrating the Dresden Files cooperative card game today from Evil Hat Productions based on the popular series of urban fantasy novels by Jim Butcher about the adventures of the wizard private detective Harry Dresden and his friends and allies as they try to defeat evil and save the world. Yeah, or at least Chicago. At least Chicago. <laughs> Which is the most important part. It's important. And, you know, be fair, it's it burns Chicago. It burns down sometimes, so yeah. it, it needs some saving. Yeah. Lots of bit of saving. It's not like Jim made that entirely up. Chicago no, was, no uh, entirely didn't. Uh, so we have played uh, two games so far. We've yes. won one, we've lost one, so this puts us, we're now uh, on the precipice here. Yep, this Best is our tiebreaker game, so I thought we should uh, bring out a harder scenario, so, you know, we'll lose. Uh, no, it's not that much harder. Just a little bit. A little, little, little bit, bit harder. A little bit harder. Uh, okay. Um, we have some card interaction. We have some. Uh, right. This this particular game set has some some uh, particular particular interaction. Besides the obstacles we just read, we also right. have a few cards that. Uh, so uh, when uh, if I attack this card, I get to add an extra hit to it. So it's especially good for me to go after this. On the other hand, when this gets defeated, I lose a card. Oh, so, so that's good to defeat last after Harry's out of cards. Exactly. If the can. optimal time okay. would be. Yeah. And it also suggests maybe I should start so that I run out of cards before sure. other people. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. yeah. On the other hand, this one is going to make me draw two cards, so that won't work. So, never mind. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, <laughs> so be it, right? Yeah. Uh, when Shakedown, Mortimer happens. Mortimer's a great character, by the way. Yes. I don't know why he's not a character in this game. Uh, well, uh, uh, he, he is scheduled. He is uh, on the schedule. He has been designed. He is waiting for all of you to buy enough copies of this game that we can confront Fred to make more. Yeah, so, that's there we the go. Deal. Yeah, and that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to, when, but when we, when we, uh, when we do shake down Mortimer for his ghost. I'm shaking truth, down Fred while Mortimer. Yeah. Uh, active player draws one card and chooses one other player to draw one card. 
and add three clues to uh, who's uh, sent the nightmare, which is all the way down here. And then uh, ally with Thomas, when taken, collect three fate points plus roll two dice and add two hits to Bianca, which is right yep. here. And finally, Bianca's revenge plot, when solve... Oh, no, that's the case. Never mind. Yep. But when solve, that adds four hits to Bianca. So if yep. we solve that... Yep. And uh, while well, the last uh, novel we played through was all about werewolves, this one is all about ghosts and vampires. Oh, so modern modern fantasy that people just love. Are they sparkly? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Bianca's a special kind of sparkly. Uh, Are there unicorns in the Dresden Files? There are no unicorns. Uh, there's, there's bound to eventually be unicorns. I mean, there's unicorns. weird things in the Fae, but... Uh, but the red court vampire, so of course there's not just yep. one kind of vampire, there's three kinds of vampires, the yep. black, the red, and the white court. And the red court have a human visage mm -hmm. that looks very uh, attractive until um, until the true form is revealed, which you see a little bit of Bianca on the card art. Yeah. I'm going to try not to do it. Oh, it you... There we go. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, they remind me of the ones from, I don't know if you've seen, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, it's on FX. Oh, The Strain. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They remind me a little bit of the strain looking at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty. So uh, <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> right. You have an interesting definition of pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the words of David Cronenberg, you reach a point where an exploding head has a kind of beauty all its own. Okay. Fair. Yes. Yeah. I can. I can. Yeah. Okay. So we ready to get going? I think so. I have I have one important question, which is, can anyone take out hostages? <laughs> what are hostages? Oh. I don't know. I have hands. hands. Yeah, let's draw our uh, hands. Five cards again. Because I drew a hand that's very similar oh, to my um, last Let hand. me give you a little tip for those of you players uh, who are starting this game. It's very good uh, to have, uh, when you've got relatively new players, to have them go through their deck once first and take a look at everything before they draw their hand so they have a sense of the kind of thing that's in their deck, the kind of thing that will help them. That's a good upfront planning tip. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I am design. not... Yeah. I'm not touching that. You're not touching that? I'm not touching All right. that. How about you, Sonia? You've got a, a removing of obstacles that is cheap and short range by any chance? Yes. Sweet. Woo -hoo. That's good. Oh, wait, that's for you if you wanted it. Okay. <laughs> uh, my obstacle removing power is a little pricey and random, so it's best if I don't use it for that purpose. Um, if you get this, the Vampire Masquerade, closer... Uh, I can, I can, yeah. uh, oh no, never mind. You um, have to get I'm a, going to, at the risk closer. of, for the moment, this is a little bit cheating because the rest of the players will get to see something I have in my hand. But if you'd hold that up under where people can see it. So in the stories, Harry has a, um, a notoriously unreliable car known as the Blue Beetle. And so the Blue Beetle card has a highly random range. Play the card, you just want to discard it for fate. <laughs> But that gives you a little example of how the uh, theme oh. is represented in the mechanics of the game. Yeah. It's also a Hail Mary in that theoretically... Oh, have we lost focus? Yeah, that one. There you go. There, there we, we go. go. All right. It's reestablished. It takes a second. Yep. Uh, theoretically, it could hit the Vampire Masquerade. You could, you could wipe could. it out. It could. I could roll much take better what? than I've been rolling so... in these games and take out the Vampire Masquerade. But Yeah, yeah. On the other hand, if it really does turn out to be the only other Overcome card in the game, I may have to use it. It's not. I just can't get it at that range. All right. Mm. So I will probably be discarding the Blue Beetle to move the Vampire Masquerade closer to you. What awesome. What kinds of cards should I draw into my hand? Well, one of the things to look at is whether you have any of your attacks or investigations that take out a... Um, in a uh, uh, advantage or obstacle that's next to the target. Yeah, it'll be a little, some of it'll your be star cards. text. You know, it'll be text at the bottom. When yep. you put hits on this clue, also remove an obstacle or claim yep. an advantage next to it. I think you have a couple of those cards. Although you may not have drawn them. Oh, well, well you're still looking at your deck. That's right. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I just drew. I was like, oh, I I'm going to only have what I did. There you go. Play and die. That's yes. a good philosophy. Yeah. Play and die. Yeah, Wonder Girl uh, 84, this is a hard deck to play, uh, but, you know, we'll see. see yes. How it goes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I have to decide on three cards to take into my hand. Oh, you get to pick your cards? No. No, no, no. Uh, just we, look... just, we just encourage you to look through the deck yeah. so you know what's in there before you shuffle oh, and draw randomly. Right, but you should shuffle them up and draw five. All right. <laughs> 
Yes, I, I, I am all about clues and attacking. Yeah, okay. I am all about uh, the exact same stuff I was last time. Oh! I, I managed to So we, like, compliment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can take advantages, which is great, because we have lots mm -hmm. of them, and overcome. And I'm uh, fairly balanced between, cool. uh, but I can take no advantages, and we have many advantages. What need taken? Let's, oh, wow, yes. Yeah, I, I could take them all. No, yep, yep, I could. Take uh, them all. Let's, let's review our stunts and talents, though. Yes. Um, Harry's is the same. You all know. What's on a side? Well, 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 I'm all about basically moving clues or hits between cards. Cool. How's your talent work? Uh, my talent is all about uh, adding extra clues or hits to whatever has the highest solve value. Right. So the for the right uh, now would be these two. case. It would be that one, and, and that one. Foe would be that one. Cool. And your stunt? What's it do? It moves. I, all... I move stuff around. Nice. Got it. All right. How about uh, Sonia? What's your What's your talent, Sonia? My talent is all about collecting fate. It's okay. When you discard for. Faint points, you collect one faint points. So oh, it's nice. like a bonus. You, you get extra faint, which is yeah. nice because the vampire masquerade is penalizing us right now. <laughs> yeah. And what's your what's your uh, stunt do? My stunt. Should I just read it? Yeah, yes. sure. Yep, yep. Right. As your turn, flip this card over to add three clues to any one case that currently has no clues on it, and move it to range one in its. Row. Oh, so that is like, very nice. It is very nice. We don't want to do it in this row. Why is that? Because we don't want to move the Vampire Masquerade further away. Oh, well, it could be on this one, which wouldn't move That's true. Further. It wouldn't make a difference. Yeah. Uh, but what we need to do is get rid of hostages so that can be used at all, because right now we can't put clues right. on this right. uh, because hostages. Ooh, which includes my thing not being able to put clues on yeah, it. Yeah, so we really want to start with uh, not doing anything on this row until someone can remove yep. hostages. Yep. And I think, Sonya, uh, have, you, have you drawn your five? Yes. Awesome. Do you have... Let me flip these over. Cool. Do you have uh, a car? Do you have an overcome that can remove hostages inexpensively? Overcome, overcome. Here we go. See, si, senor. Woohoo! Okay, cool. Because I don't think any of the rest of us. Should I go first? Yes. Oh, and by the way, it is now time for your Russian accent. Sonia is, <laughs> oh. is Russian. Do I have to do it the entire time? You do it no, as much no, as you want. No, no. Yeah. But you, you got to, you got to at least. Start. She's got a great Russian accent. She does. She at really least does. as somebody who doesn't know Russian accents all that well. So you leave it to Twitch. Excuse me. <laughs> Twitch, should she do it in the Russian accent for the whole game? No, don't make me do this. It's going to be all up to Twitch. Oh, man, you, if you're saying that, you're just making it worse. You're just making it, but this is the internet. They're yeah. all going to want you to do it now. Yeah. Uh, well, in the meantime, yep, so yeah, we already got a yes one. from the no. winner of the game. The winner so, of the game. Oh, you. man. <laughs> all right. Uh, Harry, who, who would you like to go first? I think you were... Planning on going first to get rid of your cards, but also since that doesn't really matter. Draw. Yeah. Um, Somebody has pity on me. Thank the Lord. There we go. Yeah. Oh! No. Not the whole game. Okay, okay. so somebody right. in the middle. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Actually, this is. I want to just watch this now. This is much more tense, <laughs> really, than the actual game. I agree, though, not, not the whole game. Oh, we go. There Don't we go. Don't let me be comfortable the whole game, a.k.a. let me roll all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so who's going first? Uh, I think I am going first. Cool. And I think I am... So uh, I think I am going to make us three fate, ah. and I'm going to slide the vampire masquerade up one. Nice. Oh, by the way, sorry, I didn't read mine. My stunt is... Um, that I can use my stunt to copy any unused stunt. So if a stunt's right. been used, I can't copy it. Uh, so right now, all of your stunts are available to me. I could, I could mm -hmm. use them. And my talent is similar to Michael's, that I flip my card to the ready position. But when ready, instead of allowing me to add range, I can change any die roll <coughs> to become a positive or a minus. That'd be nice. Any one die roll. Any one die roll. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, uh, and then I have to flip it back to right. ready again. And Molly has quite a lot of uh, random values on her card, so she almost never wants to take an action without having her talent ready. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to start by beating the crap out of the <laughs> Kravos' ghost. There you go. Seems like a good idea. So I will spend four fate, and I will hit it for four. Nice. All right. That is All right. not bad. Uh, a one-to-one -one trade in this game is pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. seems like it. 
Yeah, uh, a really powerful card is one that gets a little above that ratio. Yeah. yeah. I should say one to one is about normal at range one. Mm -hmm. At a longer ah. range, it goes down. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And somebody wants you to yell parkour in Russian. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get parkour. that. But okay. Uh, it's one of Harry's catchphrases. Oh! He just yells parkour. Uh, just, except okay. I don't think I don't think a Russian would yell it. I think a Russian would be like parkour. <laughs> no, Russian would be vodka. <laughs> there we go. 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 All right, well, There's speak, your Russian. Th speaking of vodka, uh, Sonia, it's your turn. If you give a Russian Ooh, enough vodka, only they'll start to doing parkour naturally. Only one to that obstacle. Yay. Yay, thank you. Do you want to... Uh, oh. All right, so hostages are gone, which means we can now put clues on cases and hits on foes further down this row, which Yay! is great, which is great. All right, um, I the only good move I have right now, honestly, interestingly enough, is either to discard a card to charge up my talent, which is never a bad thing, but that isn't um, in range for me to get rid of Where's yet. Where's Bianca? Bianca's, Bianca's right there. there. Ah. So, uh, would anyone mind if I shake down Mortimer? Uh, I will do it cheaply, and I'm going to draw a card, and I choose one other player to draw a card. <laughs> I don't know why that struck yeah, me that's, so funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd like to shake down Mortimer. I'm going to do it cheaply, <laughs> and he is going to sing like a canary. He's gonna, I'm going to use my veil. I'm going to use my illusionary veil. I'm going to spend one fate. I'm going to do it like Eric said. <laughs> uh, so Please don't hit me anymore. I'm going to draw one card. Um, and then I choose one other player to draw a card. Uh, I think let's, uh, in turn order, let's go with... Well, I think you should possibly do Harry since we might dump a card. No, Har Harry's going to draw two cards. Yeah. From... Oh. They can only go to me. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So... Um, Based on turn order, I think I want to have you Anastasia. Draw I get to draw a card. Unless, hold on, wait a second. <laughs> Sonia, are you? <laughs> is your hand <laughs> junk? Jeez, dude, I know. Don't, what? Don't is your hand card. garbage? Like, do you have a handful of cards? You're like, I wish I had any other cards but these. Let's. I mean, not. That's not my immediate reaction. All right, so Anastasia, I would go assume, for it. No. Really. Right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to add three clues it's to who Christmas, sent the nightmare. You get a card. So we're putting three clues down. Sometimes here. I like okay. to daydream about what character would I really be in the Dresden Files, and really, would I be Harry or Tommy? And then I have to realize, no, I'd be Mortimer. That's who I'd really be. <laughs> That's the closest to and the you've description been of me in real life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. also, always, a uh, couple things. One, thank you for all of our followers. Uh, always yes. appreciated. Two, this game is going to be available in about three weeks. Uh, you will either be able to buy it at Origins, or you can follow that link that was just pasted, or that's sitting to the left of uh, the designer here. And, um, and other way. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, and go to there, and you can pre-order it now, and you'll get it in about three weeks. The and left. all the expansions. And all oh, the expansions. yes, all the expansions. There's three expansions, and each of them come with... Two additional characters and two missions. And two. Yep. As well as a few, a couple of extra cards for the random scenario generator. Yeah. Ah, great. Side jobs gets bigger and bigger each time. Yep. Every expansion you get. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm sure Gamerati's appreciating the followers as well. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And... Uh, I believe it's your turn, Harry. I just All uh, right. took, took an advantage, yeah. Every time I hear Harry, though, I think of that uh, studio, Bad Hat Harry. Bad Hat Harry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Have some bad hat, Harry. Yes. I hear that way too much. I think, I, what's his name? J.J. Abrams. I watch too much of his stuff. Um, can I spend all the fate and stick you with making fate? Or I would be okay with that. Okay. I think this would be the optimal time for me to do that. I'm going to... <laughs> Fuego! 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 Uh, all right. So that's going to cost us five. I you think... Didn't do. Uh... I think that copy should stay in Seattle. All right. So my copy is currently in Seattle. <laughs> yes, uh, Karen, your copy is uh, safely secured yeah, here. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It doesn't have to leave. They should completely, quote unquote, air It's quote, in a locked star. It's all the minus, so I'm actually only adding three, except that I add extra foe hits to this foe whenever I attack, so I'm adding four. Nice. Yeah, we so did the draw. I got the draw. Two. Take away one. And oh, oh no, that draw. That draw. I didn't win our, the game. No, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, side your horn. Side, I think I just butchered... That would, be, that would be dodgy. 
if yes. he had won the game. Yeah. That would be that would be like Putin dodging, really dodging. <laughs> uh, so that puts Kravos's ghost in killing range for your blasting rod. It does. Or my blasting rod. As All right. That is true. In fact, uh, yeah, you it should probably use your blasting rod first. Is that one fourteen clue thing available for putting clues on yet? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Ooh, now, nice. the, now the hostages are. Uh, okay. How much fate do you need? A little or a lot? Only a little. I can take some advantage for Ooh. very cheaply. Ex like, very or extremely cheaply? Extremely. Okay. <laughs> One point. <laughs> nice. And, hold on. And I, for doing this, I get to add a clue to number 14, the Bianca's Revenge Oh, it's plot. a clue, not a hit. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, you said you guys could take this, right? Yep, I got so it. I don't need to put a hit on that. Nope. One fate. Yay! One fate. <laughs> uh, and when you take it, you collect... I love how we negotiated a number without negotiating yeah. a number. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You collect... Uh, here, is let's... that in the, outside the spirit? I would say what's within the spirit <laughs> of the game is there shouldn't be more than kind of three... Like, there there are basically, like, five numbers. Yes. <laughs> and so you shouldn't have more than three verbal a lot, descriptors. A super long you should have middle of the yeah. road. <laughs> I want, yeah, language. you should basically it should be a little, a lot, moderate, and that's the ambiguity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With moderate basically meaning three. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so when you take this, because you just took this advantage, uh, ally with Thomas. Oh, does the obstacle I... make my one fate zero? It was a two before the obstacle. It did. It made your one fate zero. You made no fate. Oh. oh. So we got to back this up and make it legal. Back yeah. that up. It is not legal. Beep, beep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, All right, we're okay. Yeah, cool. Thank <laughs> I you. I kind of stuck you with making fate. Back it up. That's fine. Back That's it fine. up. Uh, no, actually, you not necessarily. Yep. When you ally with Thomas, Zanian won. Thank you. Good catch. Yes, we uh, love. We actually love our Twitch viewers who correct us on making yep. mistakes. Yeah. It's uh. This, yeah, this I'm. Bad with the game designers right here too. I know. I'm. I, I'm. I'm spacing off a, a little. It's. It's warm in here. It's war. It's really warm and in also, here. We're all uh, Rico's sitting there with coffee. paper fanning himself while we're all yeah. roasting. Yeah. So, also, I kind of need to go, ever, and I'm not going. We're, we're so there's that. I'm just thing. playing. <laughs> So you, uh, you you collect three fate plus two dice when you take this advantage. So go ahead and roll Ooh. them. Roll them bones. Roll those you, two dice. Oh. Roll high. Dice. No pressure. Yeah, give you, you right. the dice. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Now does the obstacle some rolling. Hit? Does the obstacle Hot rolling. That? No, only nope. card discard. No, nope. and uh, we also add two hits to Bianca. Ooh. So Bianca, Bianca dies the death that thousand right. cuts. So I think my move here is to take out Gravos' ghost because right. that way my stunt you is not wasted. Die back. Nah. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, we find when yes, Twitch no? streaming. We can know the game top to bottom. It doesn't matter. You're so focused on also yeah. acting, you lose track of everything else. That's but, true. Uh, I can't help it. I'm theater people. Oh. <laughs> I could also generate us a bunch of fate if you would, if, if folks would prefer that. So, do you want me to blast Kravos or generate? I I, I like killing people. Blast Kravos. Go <laughs> awesome. for it. I'm using my. It makes a much much better TV <laughs> if you just blast people. Okay. Right. Just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Uh, I, I like this. killing. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Talented Holomancer, which makes perfect sense because I'm studying under my mentor. That's true. Uh, Harry, oh. And I'm going to copy his stunt to put four hits on Gravos' ghost uh, if he could be defeated by four hits, and he can. Awesome. Some dust in the ghost. Bye -bye. Yeah. So we don't have any points yet, but we don't have we have one less negative Yeah, we're point. zero yep. to three right now. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Something great. Game's huh? young yet. Lots oh, yeah. to go. Is that a 14 on the case? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I think I should. It's a good time for me to make fate. Um, if I is it going to be useful for me to slide up that vampire masquerade, or better, no, I slide up that advantage. It's the vampire masquerade is now in range for me. Oh, it is. Mm. Uh, yeah, and the the. Um, the downside is that to use this card, this card has variables on it. So to use this card, I really should discard first so that I can right. lock those those variables down. Well, if we but, if we move Vampire Masquerade up, will the variable not matter? No, the variable doesn't affect the range. Okay. Okay. So right. I can hit, I can get the Vampire Masquerade no matter what. Okay. Uh, it just it might cost more or less. So I think I should make fate because otherwise I'm hogging the limelight a little bit. So I'm going to make three fate. Uh, only two. Only 
two. Because only two. That's right. That stinker is still there. Is it the um, obstacle? And yeah. should I slide this up? Is that going to make it easier for somebody to pick it up? Uh, it would make it easier. I don't know that I'm going to be the one to do it, but it would make it easier for me. Do either of you have a cheap I can't pick take advantage? It. I can't take it at all. Okay, so you're the one who's going to be doing all of this. All right, crud. so... I do not have any advantage and any... So options. is it basically... Am I just going to be making things worse by making it harder for people to hit this if I yeah, slide that Yeah, does anyone up? care about hitting I'd these rather hands? I'd rather move up the other stuff. I'm mostly okay. going to be focusing on the top All row. right, fair enough. Cool. Let's do then that. Let's do that, and uh, I can take both the advantage and the... Obstacle. Okay. Okay, so which do we want to do more of right now? Wound Bianca or start trying to clear that 14? Um, I could put a healthy dent on it. Well, the 14 puts hits on Bianca, yeah. so I would say do the 14. Oh, that and makes sense. That puts... And we also can't win without no, solving at least one case. So Okay, so I'm going to throw five clues all on uh, Bianca's revenge. Fake. Yep. What's the what's the star of that? It says. That is five clues among any cases within range. Okay, each, since that's the must, only one in range. Each must there get one go. clue. There's only one in range. That's you can five. That's nice. an excellent time to do that. Yep. Ooh, Not my. to mention the other two are out of range. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's perfect. Okay. All right, Sonia, what you got? I'm thinking I'm just going to generate... <laughs> also note how acutely we are missing Billy and George's and Susan's talents in this game now that yeah. we don't have them. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, yeah. We, now we can just drop hits or clues yeah. on things for free. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. It's okay. I'm just trying to figure out which one of these. I could generate a lot of fate using either an investigate card or an attack card. Uh, what is your stunt out of curiosity? I forgot. My stunt. So let's see if I can just try to Ooh. summarize this unless. Sure. No, yeah. Let's just what's the deal? It's, you know. Add three clo clues to a case that doesn't have any clues. <gasps> There's And all move it one range in its row. Uh, oh, move it to range one in its row. Yeah. So that can only be used on this, and if we put any clues on that, then you will not be able to use your stunt again. So there's, so we have to not add clues to that because I don't think we want to move that up right yeah, now. Yeah, you're right. We don't want to move that up yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So never mind. I just wanted to see because sometimes yeah. if you don't know what to do, it's a good idea to look at your right. stunt and see if. But it was a good catch because we could easily have put ourselves in a position where we can't use our stunt at all. So yeah. we want to make sure we maintain that capacity. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yes, Sonia equals Sonia. Yes, Sonya. Sonya is playing Sonya. Yes. Yep. yep. That couldn't have been. That was purely by accident. It really yeah. Right. Yeah, so true. your question was: Should you ditch an investigate or an attack? Yeah. Um, I feel like our the foes are weaker than the cases right now, so I would rather focus on attacks to get rid of the foes and just try and solve one case. Right. So okay. Does that sound? Investigate. Does that sound right to you guys? Yeah. Because I feel like these foes are. We got three. Three cases, three foes, and the foes are all lower. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I ditched the investigate. All right. Yep. Five fate it is. Ooh, nice. Ooh. That's a lot of fate. Uh, four. Yeah, four fate. Uh, it's five because, because of five, Sonya's, because Sonya's special one. ability. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Is generation fate. Woo, woo. Okay. Yep. Although I have to say, the vampire masking raid hanging around so long is just killing us. Yeah, yeah. It, is. it really is. Yeah. Are well, you getting okay. rid of that right now? Well, yes, here's a question. I can very cheap, uh, pretty cheaply get... Uh, summon Kravos' Ghost, and when I do this, uh, Harry gets two cards. Kravos' Ghost would take four hits, but he's already gone. So I can take this, and Harry gets two cards, which is, you know, not bad. Or I can, for a very, really variable cost, but not more than we have, uh, I can get rid of the Vampire Masquerade. I think we need the Vampire Masquerade. Yeah, swing for the fences. Yeah. Got it. it. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. It Borrow the minivan. Yeah. This is basically the Molly equivalent of the Blue Beetle. So instead yeah. of very variable range, it's very variable cost. So roll two negatives. Yeah. Now's the time to do it. it well, and my time. talent would let me set one of them. Don't you want the evil dice? You grab the good dice. I know. I want the good dice because they're going to oh! roll low. <laughs> I'm only going to spend two, two fate, and I'm getting rid of that masquerade. Woohoo! Thank goodness. All right. That thing was killing us. <laughs> okay. Yes. The minivan has been borrowed. Uh, I like. Cool I just realized that you did that. You made the inverted blue beetle yep. for Molly. I did with the minivan. Oh. 
It's got uh, very reliable mileage. Well, it's got reliable uh, function, but not mileage. Yeah, well, it's unreliable as to whether she'll get caught. <laughs> well, I figure it's 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 like a plug-in hybrid, and it depends whether you're doing a lot of freeway driving or town driving, something like that. All right, oh, you're up, Harry. Right. Board's clear. You know a holy knight of the cross would drive a hybrid. Anyway. But <laughs> um, his wife's <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Jesse. Oh, uh, so um, I can spend a lot of fate or make a little fate. I think I will make a little fate. Um, no fate, but what you make. No, no real use for my talent. But at least I'm making. <laughs> oh, you the got full. the reference. No, I just thought it was kind of funny. I don't know. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> well, okay, explain now. Terminator explain. Two. Okay. Come on, why would she get the reference? Me? Uh, why would she get the reference? All right. I'm 14. Who do you I am think making I am? Two fate. Yeah. Uh, everybody has to have seen the Terminator movies. No. No, that, that's, that's really no. not. That's, that's, that's not, not true of any movie. Kid. Oh, yeah. And now we get, yep. you know, coat on, coat off instead of wax on, wax off. Yep. Just had a had a <laughs> guy so say to me the other day, I love old yeah. movies. And oh, I said no, to him, no, no. I'm and by a... old, you mean the 90s, right? Yeah, 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 yeah I mean the yeah. 90s. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's the more appropriate thing is I'm not disappointed. I'm more dis I'm more feeling really old suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I know the gray's coming in. Yep. It's shining on the screen. <laughs> um, but <laughs> Yeah, he's going to do a Dorian Gray in front of you all right now. <laughs> she did see Back to the Future, well, good. The original? The original. Good. Yeah. Uh, not that's that's good fathering, right? Which there. one was the one where they go to the desert too? That's the western. Western. Yeah, that's three. three. Oh, that's number three. That's the whole they go into the future. The whole purpose of two is to set up three. Two yes. has zero purpose whatsoever, and except even, for to have a western. Did they release it like six months after yeah, in the theaters? Yeah. yeah, they filmed them at the same time. Yeah, I yeah. Think, and they yeah. just <laughs> they matrix the heck out of that one. Yeah. <laughs> or major. Never mind. So is it my turn? It's your turn. It is yeah. your turn. We're making more movie references that are older than her. Yeah. Uh, Fair. Matrix. Yeah. Okay. So, do we want to try to? Well, we need to solve one. Yes, we do. We need do. to solve one. Put those um, out. Uh, I can take a big swing at it. I won't finish it, but I could take a big well, swing. Well, remember, at your turn. stunt is to move clues from. I'm one. planning to. Yeah. So if we hammer these two in yeah. any way, then yeah. you could. Or even if she pops her three on that, I can move that as well. Right? Well, either yeah, way, true. I'm spending yeah, three, point. and I'm putting two on the 14. All right. So not great usage, but it works. All right. Now, that has range four, right? Yeah. You could put two here, and then I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to move them all over probably. Okay. All yeah. Right. So. Sure. Okay, you're up. And uh, do you need that at range one still, or can she go ahead and use her stunt now? Um, I have variable range, and I know I can hit it if it's at one. Okay. Okay. So I would, yeah. Well, you know, the last three games have been all about you. All, about you. <laughs> all these games tonight have been all about you. That, yeah, I'm, I'm a spotlight hog, clearly. Um, no, I, I mean, I, I can do other things... Uh, besides, oh, uh, she's up. Yeah, we uh, have Winter Girl to... into your uh, answer. Yes, Sonya is the warden from Russia. Oh, wait. oh, I'm sorry, you're answering the question. You're yeah, not asking yes. it. All right. uh, if if you move it, what I will do is generate a bunch of fate on my turn and be be able to control my die roll on the next turn. So, oh, that's good. So okay. that's fine. Go yeah. ahead and that, or I could just take some clues and put them on the what is it called? Oh yeah, that'd be oh good yeah, too. that'd be good. Go for, for it. Cheap. Yep, sure. Do oh, for cheap is really good. So. Oh, oh, you have Two, to roll. I gotta roll one. Right. There you go. Let's see how. Don't cheap. roll those. You rolled high there. Uh, <laughs> no! Yay! It's only cost one fate. One fate. Yep. All right. And what? How many uh, clothes you get? Two. Two on. Yep. Right. Yeah. Also, to be so clear, Sonya is an agnostic Knight of the Cross, so it does not matter to him which dice he rolls. He doesn't think that has any importance. Yeah. He's not a superstitious man. All right. Okay, I'm going so, to discard, because I think right now... Oh, I, you, I'm just saying quick. My next two turns, I can finish this. Perfect. Lovely. So right now, I could take... Uh, I could take this, since you didn't move it up, I could take the Summon Harry's Ghost, yeah. and Harry would draw two cards... Or I could discard for a bunch of fate. So, do you guys want? 
Do you want I, me to drain the? I pain? don't need fate. You know what? If you give me the two cards, I I'd like to have some flexibility about whether and when I play this. Okay. So cool. Uh, then I can probably make us some fate. Then I'm going to play uh, Ro Rokutsu, and it costs two fate, and it's got a random roll of range. Uh, the range was three. Uh, I didn't need it after all, and I will yep. take that. Harry, draw two. We put four hits on Kravis' ghost, but that's already been defeated. Okay. okay. So just want to briefly interject. Uh, we just got a bunch of new viewers on the stream, mm -hmm. so I want to call out. This is Dresden Files. It was a Kickstarter game that's now coming out and going to be available in three weeks. We've got the creator right here. Uh, uh Eric, and yes. then we've got Sean. He's the project manager. I'm Anthony from Forge by Geeks. We've got a uh, uh, daughter of Gamerati uh, <laughs> over here. The daughter of Gamerati. Um, Rico is manning the, uh, the daughter Rati. Yeah, yes. I am today the Twitch secretary. Yes. So he's the Twitch secretary for us. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, please check out the link that was either just posted in chat or sitting to the left of the designer Eric here, and uh, consider. Uh, pre-ordering the game you can pre-order the game and the first three expansions if you'd like and yeah, back definitely. to the, oh and if you have any questions about the game that's part of what we're here for yeah. sorry the subtle lag time is just wigging me out here oh yes <laughs> don't look at it don't look at the screen yeah there's like a quarter second lag time on that and an eight second on that mm -hmm. so it's fun yeah it is it's cool all righty uh i think it is your it turn, is my right? turn uh, can you get by with a little fate, or do you need a lot I don't of need fate? any fate. All right, then I think I will make just a little fate. We will see Hopefully a little, little bit more than that. Yeah. Nope. No, very, very, very little. little fate. All right. Okay, I'm going to make a little fate, and that will put one extra clue on the uh, 14 clue one. Fantastic. How close is it now? It's three, three left, which I can handle next turn. Awesome. Nice. So the only thing I can do with this card is discard it because it needs a lot of fate for me to play it, mm. which is Ooh. an attack card. So either we do you have rewind. something for clues that you can discard? This oh, is uh, the, it is. It this is, is time the for only your... card I have in my hand. You can uh, but it's time for your stunt. So. Oh, stunt's good. All right. Because I think we want you to play it, just not right this second. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. I will generate a bunch of fate. Add three clues to anyone. Yeah, I still need to be reminded of this. Yeah. Three clues to anyone case that Curly has no clues. So that would be... Go here. Yep. Yeah. And then move it to range one. Cool. So flip so. that over. We'll put three clues there. Yeah. And then we'll slide that. Okay. Nice. And I'm not going to be spending any fate. Cool. Okay. So cool. we need to make sure she gets a lot. Well, um, I can help with that. I'm on it. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Let's both. I'm discarding. <laughs> double team it a little bit. Nehru. Spotlight. Nehru. It's going to make five fate for you. One, two. All right. And Perfect. I am going to charge my talent finally. Mm -hmm. So now I can control a die roll. I can flip it. And both of these cards have variables on them. So. Yep. Nice. I, I think the rule in the Dresden Files is that magic words. They don't have to be in Latin necessarily. They just have to not be in your first language. Yep. The second language. So all of Molly's uh, magic words are in Japanese because she watches a lot of anime. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's kind of awesome. Got yeah. Nehru, yeah. They have to make sure that when you say them, uh, you'll say them meaningfully, intelligent. You won't accidentally be like, oh, yeah, I just, whoops, I just happens to be my magic word for fireball. Yeah. Uh, so. That's not a good, yeah. So that's why you got like, fuego. <laughs> Okay, so I am also going to make just a little bit of fate. Okay, and what do you get for doing that? Uh, now, Bupkis, because there are no more obstacles or advantages left for me to move around. Ah, uh, okay, so now I'm going to play my stunt, um, which allows me to move three clues from either of those clue things to finish the other one. Nice. So which one? I assume we want to take that one. Yeah, yeah because this one is yeah. easier to solve. Yep. And then that one. Puts that, which solves it. Yep. Yes. Awesome. Nice. nice. Just barely. But we have a point. Yay. Mm -hmm. So we're only, we we're plus one, negative three. Yep. yep. One to three. Right. So. We're always slinging you make a point. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't do it very often. <laughs> All right. And yeah, I can, I can put some clues on uh, that one in the, f that, 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 that yep. 10 as well. So, so, uh. Sonia's up. Sonia's right? up. Yeah, yep. I can attack any of the red cards. Okay. For a high price. I'm just wondering which one do we want to go for? Uh, well, you have one card left right now, Harry, right? 
I do. Would you take out Leah's Hellhounds? Oh, you haven't used your blasting rod yet. I've not used my blasting rod. So could we, uh, could you either add, um, four to the ten or four to the six? Or, or four to the ten or, or four to the ten or two to the six? Ooh. I could add... Don't be specific. Don't yeah, be specific. Can't say, just say, say yes or no. Yeah. I, I'm yes. sorry. I just, I'm totally yeah. cheating in my own yeah, freaking right. game. My, yeah, my um, bad. Let's, my let's bad. rephrase this in the form of... Uh, I hesitated. I'm tired. So that's good. Thank Thank you. You. Let's rephrase this in the form of, can you make any of these targets eligible for Harry's Blasting Rod? Which will do four damage. We know that. I didn't really design this game. It's all a sham. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she already said yes, so we know that. All right. Yeah. I mean... Oh, that, that, I should. Yeah, add... this makes me want to read the books. Oh, you. And I don't read. So, I don't read many fantasy I'll novels. I'm most... Yeah, yeah. So I've, uh, overcome I've one like obstacle times. or take one advantage adjacent to target foe, which I don't think does anything. Nope. nope. So yeah. we're just gonna attack. Spend five and deal four to which one do you want to do? Uh, should we do the ten? The ten sounds good. I would like it if you did the ten. Because Go then I'll it. be able to use my stun. I'm not the one moving the... Well, it would be the same with the Red Court Vampires. Oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, sure. either, either one would be in range. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I can either... I can either put a <laughs> good amount of hits on any of the foes or a good amount of clues on the first case. What would you rather have, folks? I'd rather have hits personally. Um, I can't do anything clue remaining, though I'm probably going to have to generate. Um, well, so I'm going to stunt this turn, but then if I have a large amount of fate, I might be able to finish off uh, the Plague of Hauntings, and it will be more likely that I finish it off if it's a little further along. Okay, then that might be better, because then I'll just generate fate. All right. Uh, this also costs less, so... What are you looking at being able to do? Yep. Oh. 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 Uh, that changes their calculus. Yeah. I am fate. now your vampire. Well, if, yeah. as long as you have one fate, then I don't mind having my last turn discarding for fate because it'll still generate. Okay, cool. So yeah. I'm going to spend two fate then. And I'm going to roll uh, to see two clues. Oh, I rolled a minus. That's terrible. Except my talent lets me flip the <laughs> round. The oh. Sam. And do three clues. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Very thanks, nice. Thanks, talent. And now we have six clues on Plague of Hauntings. Nice. Okay. So close. I'm going to stunt. I'm going to kill off Bianca. Like you do. Because she's a bit of a bee. <sighs> a Bianca. That's what she's yeah, acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What... <laughs> Okay, my turn? Yeah. Okay, I'm We're going to... We're kid-friendly. Yes. No, our stream isn't. Um, I'm going to be uh, discarding uh, for... And I need a... Ooh. I am happy oh, to be your soundtrack, roll. Test I Snyder. I have to roll to determine yeah. how much fate we get. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. A-Wolves Den Games. Uh, audiobooks are great. Neutral! Of, of this. We get three. Mm -hmm. And they're read by James Marsters. That's so, a positive in my book. Yeah, it's amazing. I have to... Take away one of those because I don't have any That's cards fine. to play. That's fine. So. Just spend one to pass. Oh, when you do that, though, you put a clue on oh. the case or a hit on the foe with the most hits, right? Which would we prefer? Well, two hits because that's eight is much closer than 13, right? Yeah. Well, six is much closer. Yeah, but you can't choose six. You have to choose the one with the most. So it's oh, right. a clue yeah. there or a hit there. Though, do we? if I put it on the clues, does it make it more likely that we'll finish that? No, because it would have to go here. Yeah. Oh, you're right. right. Yeah. So let's put, put it on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah that right. makes sense. Better. Okay. So, um, do you want me to generate fate right now or spend most of our fate to put more hits on that? I would like you to make fate so that I can finish the Plague of Hauntings. Perfect. Probably. I'm going to drop the illusionary attack. Oh, oh wait, wait. Fair, fair thing to think about here. Uh, that's almost done. We're not going to go another round after you go. Yep. We could use the fate to do the rolls to complete this and True. that. This, right now, we don't have a close one to complete on. Yeah. Well, this one isn't anywhere near close. Yeah, if you could hit this one, that would be ideal. 
as long as you don't Yeah, play. it's true. We have to pick up two things to win. That's a good point. And so even if we have a certainty of taking out the Plague of Hauntings, that's not going to win us the game if we have no shot on anything else. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I could spend the fate then. Yeah. And I will generate fate. All right. Uh, well, then I will spend it on an illusionary attack. Now, there's a chance I'm going to roll uh, poorly because I don't have my talent ready. Just don't. Don't roll poorly. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I just won't just roll bad. Just, yeah, he didn't I, roll I bad. Didn't roll bad. Yay! Yay! So how much wounds do you deal? I'm gonna do three hits. Oh, that's much more accomplishable. Yeah. There we go. And I am out. All right. And then I make five fate. Oh, that's that's useful. And okay. now we go into this. Sure. Yeah. You have no cards, right? No. So sure. and, yeah, your, and your stunt is used. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm all used. Yeah, we're all used. Okay. So we have the. <laughs> wow. That could go so many different ways. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We, we need good luck twice in a row now, which is... Okay, how much fate do we have to spend? We have six fate to spend. That's not a good number. <laughs> um. So how much... We need to deal three to the attack one, and we need to deal three to the other one, right? No, four. Yeah, four to the other four. Okay, so Ooh, we good. probably have to do the two fate for the attack, which gives us two regulars and five dice, mm -hmm. and then three fate for the clues one, which gives us three and five dice. All right, so we just need to roll plus one on both rolls, yep. and we're good. No problem. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah. It's no... I'm already done rolling. I rolled. I'm good. There's no problem. <laughs> She's rolling one. She hasn't rolled recently. Which one do you want to do? Go for the hits or go for the clues? Stab <laughs> yeah, do it. Okay, so we pay two fate. Yep. And you get five dice of your choice. Mm. Yeah, or even roll a little. That's positive six. Vibes. Yeah, that's positive vibes. Get rid of the We're evil up. ones. We're going for the good ones. All right. Should I? Let's move these out of the way. Yeah, all right. I'm confused. And. Uh, oh, that's a plus two. That's a plus Ooh, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That gives us yeah, four. Got it. And four that hits, which is enough to take out Leah's Hellhounds. Yeah. Oh, Harry, you have to discard a card. Discard a card. Jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's it. We're, we're, we're tying right now. One and one. Okay. Um, who's going to roll for the last one? I say the creator. Oh, we're going to oh, throw it on him. Let's it's put it right the last yeah. game. Oh, the so the great part here is that whenever you lose a game of Dozen Files, uh, Eric likes to say that he wins. Yeah. So, you know, this is win-win for Eric. It's a, uh, yeah, I mix But we still get it. to laugh at him. All right. So you get five dice and you need plus one. All right. All right. I'll... Seems like I could do that. Seems like it. Seems and like roll it. roll up here. Roll up here. All right. Uh, that, oh, Jesus. That's, that's, oh, wow. That's not Ooh, the roll we wanted. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> It would have been such an exciting finish if I had pulled that off. <laughs> and yet, oh. I didn't. And you really, you really did all your luck before. I did. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Eric. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah Eric. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, so we've still got about 10 minutes left, people. So I guess at this point, the best thing would be, one, paste the link again. Uh, two, yeah. uh, if you have any questions about the expansions, mm -hmm. what content's in them, any of the heroes that come with them, or any questions about the game in general, yeah. uh, please let us know. Uh, and Or if you have any questions oh, about anything yes. else. That's a great... Why don't you post the link to the Origins? <laughs> oh, salty. Why don't you post the link to the Origins Games Fair website because that's where. Oh yeah, gonna be yeah. Too. You'll have to yep. dig that up. Just Come visit me there in person. The we'll play. Yep. You I'm just gonna be playing this game that's awesome. all day long. Maybe occasionally one of my other ones, but. Uh, Origins Game Fair. You can use the use open the browser on the laptop. Use IE or Edge or whatever it's called. That'll open up on the laptop, so you don't overwrite. Yeah. Um, what is that? So, oh, <laughs> it's a salt canister pouring uh, out yeah. salt. <laughs> so, uh, how much Uber ass, Zombie yeah. asks, how much ass does Murphy kick? She kicks a fair amount of ass when she's fighting, but she is uh, more of an investigating character, again, being a detective. She's somewhat balanced, right. but she's got an Aikido move, which is pretty good at short yeah. range, as you'd expect. And she's got her P90, which is uh, which is pretty nice. Yeah. But uh, much okay, as in the, the books... Okay, is the P90 a reference to P90, no, the workout no, routine? It no, a, it's no. A it's a Oh, it's, it's a, a firearm. firearm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a very cool skill. firearm. Um, however, just as in the books, uh, Murphy is a human being in a world full of vampires, werewolves, and demigods. So, yeah. um, 
she uh, she's got to she's got to pick her battles. Uh, Uber Zombie, I didn't actually pick that. That was all Sean's doing, so I blame him. <laughs> Uh, we did, we did, over zombie. We uh, were messing around. Did Elder it. sign uh, the the card dice game mm -hmm. from a few years back? I think about six or seven years now. Yeah. Did that have any influence on your design? Um, not really. I um, uh, that wasn't one of my favorite cooperatives because uh, I kind of felt like there were not there weren't very many decisions in it. You just kind of rolled and saw if you got it. Um, this dice mechanic really grew out of the fact that fate dice are so integral to Evil Hat's role-playing products, their fate line of products. Oh, you have a fate line of products. Right. I did not know that. Uh, and so uh, they are the creators of the uh, Fate Core role-playing engine, which is also the engine that underlies the Dresden Files role-playing games. Interesting. Um, but uh, And it took me a while to come up with a core mechanic that worked using what are essentially three-sided dice that range from minus one to plus. And then I realized... I could use them by adding base values and different numbers of dice to create customizable curves, essentially, mm. um, which really added a lot to the game. So, uh, Winter Girl 84, yes, Butters is a playable character. He's in one of the expansions. Uh, so, the expansions are 10 bucks and they each keep, they each yep. include two characters and two books and a few cards for side jobs. Uh, and Uber Zombie, what playable characters are there? No, not McCoy. Yes, Thomas. Uh, uh, no, not Maggie. Yes, Mouse, but... But Mouse was a... Uh, he was a Kickstarter exclusive. Yep. But I believe Fred has talked about the idea of Mouse getting added to a future expansion, too, or, or finding some other way, because Mouse proved to be... We essentially... I did not design Mouse up front. I created him... This is the one thing I created on the fly during the Kickstarter due to popular demand. I didn't want to... <laughs> overdo that because you don't want to accidentally design something broken because you're mm -hmm. in a hurry. No, um, no. That. no, that never yeah. happens. I wouldn't know about designing. In a Kickstarter? Broken. The deuce, you say. No. Yes. Uh, how Ables. long did you test before you went up on Kickstarter? Um, so I uh, took more than a year designing uh, all the content for this game. I would say that the latter six months of that was mo i mean i play tested throughout but uh, the latter six months were mostly play testing there's so much content for this game i actually had to um i couldn't just kind of play test willy-nilly the way i did i i would normally do i i had to schedule like this series of very planned out experiments just to make sure that everything worked reasonably well with everything else and uh, i had people over for all day play test marathons yep. where we played this like th thank goodness it's only about 20 minutes with experienced players because i had to play this 30 <laughs> times a day yeah uh and um uh, uh the other point i was going to make about play testing was i can't remember Never mind. <laughs> uh, uh but but uh eric did uh you know you had to play this a lot of variables which is how do all these books work, and how do all these books work with more characters? So the, yeah, right. the further it got along, the more complicated the playing became. And it's part of the reasons why, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that Harry's an integral character yeah. in that one of the core mechanics of the game is the uh, where cards are in the, the range, and Harry is the, is the oh, one that has the ability that. to manipulate right. that. Uh, and so you need that. He's kind yeah. of the one stabilizing. You can play without him. Like, it's not advised, but you can do it. <laughs> And it just means that whatever, however the cards land, is how the cards land. Right. You could you could end up with a luck of the draw that was unplayable and win unwinnable yeah. without Harry. And that was never my uh, intent with the game to have that be a possibility. Okay. Uh, some people are asking or possibly implying. Uh, maybe you can clarify. If you pre-order now and get a bunch of the expansions, mm -hmm. is do you get mouse as well through that? Uh, no. You had to essentially get. So there are. Uh, out there, a bunch of game stores did back the Kickstarter, ah. and so there are game stores out there that some here and there that might still have the Kickstarter edition in stock, and so you might be able to get a copy of Mouse that way. But aside from that, you had to get it during the Kickstarter. Okay. What got cut you most wanted to keep? You know, not much got... Uh, cut in terms of content um, we um, if anything I was getting fairly tired and uh, <laughs> Fred kept saying 
more content. I hunger. Oh. Give me, give me more. One thing you did originally <laughs> was you originally so that in fate there's four actions, which is attack, uh, defend, uh, overcome, and uh, take advantage. And one of the things that you were originally modeling was those four, th those four things. And defend just didn't fit. That's true. Uh, so it wasn't exactly. I mean, yeah, that was just a thematic change, right. really. Though the mechanic worked exactly the same right. as investigate, um, which was a change Fred actually suggested in the game. Um, there were a lot of mechanics I tried out along the way and dropped um, when I was to, because this game, uh, although it doesn't use fate mechanics, the mechanics are sort of inspired by the role playing game mechanics. And so I experimented with things like having the um, approach system from that game be a mechanic in this game, but it turned out to be one layer too many to have in the game. It didn't work very well. Yeah. Okay, so um, is there a Dresden file collectible card game or something? No, there's not. This is no. a cooperative card game. Oh, so that right. might be what the CCG there is, Uber Zombie. Right. And this is also part of why we didn't call this the Dresden Files CCG. Yeah. yeah. Even though that would be the per we don't use that acronym because we don't want people to think it's a collectible card game. Yeah, most people see we CCG. Call, that's think why that. we call it DFCO. Uh, yeah, Lytle's saying Mouse is on the Evil Hat Store for pre order. That would probably be a good thing for the project manager to know, but if it is, sweet. I didn't think we listed it. But hey, I didn't know. Wait. Okay. Me. All that stuff we said about Mouse, go follow that link. It, I would. I guess I would advise if Mouse is available for pre-order on the store, I would go try to get that quickly, quickly. because I'm not sure how big the supply of that is. Yeah. So you can scroll up the text and copy it from earlier. It did so well, it is now sold out. Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I don't think either of us are in a position to comment on this, but well, what, what, what are your guys' favorite characters from the game? Um, I really like. Uh, I, I really enjoy playing Thomas. I find him an exciting character to play. He's a very attack heavy character, um, and he has a stunt that's very swingy. It can it can sort of make your game or break your game, and I like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, my, I I have a lot that I love. I really I really enjoy the Carpenters, but uh, I. <laughs> But actually, the the character that I, I find myself most drawn to is the one that's sort of the uh, opposite of Thomas, which is Waldo. Mm -hmm. um, he uh, Thomas has an ability, and Waldo mirrors it in the uh, in the opposite ah. direction. Uh, and uh, they both can uh, trade. One, Waldo can trade one hit from one foe for two clues, uh, and Thomas can do the opposite. Uh, and I love the manipulation of the board. It's really fun. Plus... Wait, I think that's somebody else who can do the opposite, not Thomas, unless I've lost track. Oh, well, it's possible. Thomas, I think, adds You're hits right. at the closest range. You're right. I'm thinking yeah. of... Uh, is that Carlos who does that? Carlos, yeah. yeah. So never mind. Anywho, Waldo can move clues on things, and yeah. he has Polka Will Never Die. Yes. So Waldo does most of the gifts provides most of the medical attention in the uh, Dresden file, so uh, Waldo can heal a, a foe a little bit and get some information out of him. That's his thematic his trick. Shack, yeah. Okay, so question for me. What is the next game you're planning to work on other than this one, the expansions for this included? Well, and um, are you wanting to talk about that yet? Well, for the first time in five years, I don't have something in the pipeline with Evil Hat at the moment. Oh, so wow. So there's nothing uh, forthcoming Vacation. right now. I do have, pardon? Vacation. Uh, I, I've been sort of forced into uh, a little bit of time away from game design by some not entirely positive life events lately, um, I'm afraid. Um, but I, uh, I do have other irons in the fire. There's... Um, uh, a, a game I have in the pipeline um, with a relatively new game company that's coming out. It's a little soon to talk much about that. Um, I have a, um, uh, a little train game uh, that is in the works, but it is a um, it is a long way out. Um, so th those might be coming along, but it's a little soon for me to tell you too much about them. Okay, no problem. No problem. Long enough for also, uh, of note, you know, this this uh, this game got a ton of attention because oh, of yeah. the, because of the IP, and it's also very elaborate. I mean, it's an incredible game, but uh, a slightly lesser known, but also very oh, yes. awesome game that Eric just came out with uh, through Evil Hat is the Kaiju Incorporated mm -hmm. uh, card game. 
and that is a game of making monster profits. Oh, um, that's a horrible, oh, yeah. horrible pun. So oh. it's uh, it's actually a game about being a um, the CEO oh. of a multinational corporation in a world that's overrun by giant kaiju. So you are profiting from rebuilding the world after giant kaiju <laughs> attacks, but the kaiju are actually stepping on your new buildings as you build them. <laughs> uh, and uh, you call it Blackwater. <laughs> oh. well, uh, I will point out that Monster Santo is one of the corporations you can Monster play in this Santo. game. Monster Santo. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, and you win by creating consumer products made out of kaiju parts, like kaiju cell acne cream. Kaiju uh, skin handbags. Kaiju skin, or depleted uranium house siding. Is that already like out that. or just coming it is out. out? It is out. It oh. is just newly on the market. Yeah. Uh, and this is also a short game. It's uh, three to five players. Uh, it is a co it's a competitive game. Uh, it's very fun. So that's also available yep. on Evil Hat site. Um, yeah, and please do go out and give it a try. Unfortunately, it's been kind of uh, in the shade of Dresden Files. Hasn't gotten quite the same attention. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I think we're all roasting right now. Yeah. It's a little so a little I think that uh, since uh, since we hit our 9 p.m. goal, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, joining us. So as always, please uh, follow us on Twitch. Uh, you can also find us, Forged by Geeks, on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, you name it. Um, please follow us on any of those as well. Uh, we... Uh, do a lot of board games. Most of it's uh, we have a regular Kingdom Death Monster session, a regular Pathfinder yep. session, and a regular Gloomhaven session. So we'd love to have people check those out in addition to these one-off streams that we do periodically. Also, highly encourage people to, in general, uh, back Kickstarters. It really helps a lot of uh, indie yep. creators, like all of us, to get our games to market. And last but not least, I have to put in a plug for my own game, uh, Defense Grid, yep. the board game. We got yeah. funded on Kickstarter back in well February. Nice. Oh, God. That, yeah. Now that that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Then, and, uh, can I just ask for a quick poll of the viewers out there? How many of you want to see uh, Sonia make a repeat appearance on the program? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know about that. I mean, uh, <laughs> but we'll, we I'd complete like our to. Kickstarter, and we will be going up for pre-order probably within the month. So, nice. uh, if you follow us on, uh, for yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, girl. yeah, and we'd love to have you guys back sometime oh, when we have a few games as well. Mm -hmm. uh, do you mind if I do a, a plug? Oh yeah, go ahead, do your own plug. Uh, I, I got a couple plugs, but I'll try to keep them real short. Uh, Evil Hat uh, is, uh, including uh, Eric, we're all going to be at Origins, so mm -hmm. a lot of the Evil Hat folks will be at Origins. So if you want to come to uh, Demo, uh, Defco, Kaiju uh, Incorporated, uh, check out Dresden Files Accelerated, check out Blades in the Dark. They're all coming to print right now, and they'll all be at Origins, and a lot of the you know people will be there to, to do demos and or sign books and check things out. Uh, I personally am uh, running a Kickstarter right now for Big mm -hmm. Bad Con. Uh, it's, it's hit its funding goal, so we're excited, but we've got a little ways to go. And uh, if we uh, if we uh, if we keep if we hit more stretch goals, we're bringing out more guests. Uh, so that's bigbadcon.com. It's, it's a, a super fun con. Thank you. You sir. should you should go. It's worth traveling down to the Bay Area from Seattle for the con. Yeah, it's it's, it's good times. Uh, and we just we just added board games. Uh, this we've been doing role playing yeah. games with, with a smidge of board games in the past. Yeah. Now we have a whole track. Definitely. And also uh, the gentleman who drove us up here. Yeah, feel free to come uh, in. The view. man of the hour, uh, Mr. Mr. Healy. Oh, thank you, Ed. Uh, Gamerati <laughs> is running uh, an amazing set of squat down a uh, fate. Of fake core games <laughs> come into frame. Um, into frame. <laughs> they're they're uh, they have the same Vogue. same players. Dimensional shifting, is, if I have it correct, uh, and playing a bunch of different settings in, in a, diff a bunch of different fate worlds. So if you check out Game Roddy, which hopefully you have now because you wanted to win the uh, to win this game and because it's a good channel, they're doing some great stuff. Yeah, yeah basically great. we just hired a bunch of artists to make fake film posters that were different <laughs> nice. worlds in fate. They're nice. awesome and. Um, <laughs> Uh, Ed Turner, who's done a bunch of work for Fate, and some of our people are running through those fake worlds. So the first one's called Girl Gang, and it's a bunch of girls in school, mm. uh, basically um, helping the oppressed um, <laughs> in not so standard ways. Um, then I think they're doing uh, Space Marines and Animes, and you know it's all different types of different cool. things. So every month is a new one, and we release the posters on Facebook, and then we. Yeah. Play them. We just saw one today. It's unreal. They're really awesome. And it's okay. 
a secret. So right? last thing is, uh, we're going to have a booth at PAX Unplugged. If you haven't heard about PAX Unplugged, it's yep. Penny Arcade's new expo yep. taking place in Pennsylvania. Uh, Philly. Of, in Philly, Philly specifically. It's it's huge. I mean, they they were not expecting it to hit like 10,000 people the first year. They've apparently already broke 30,000 attendees. Oh, very uh, nice. Signed wow. up. Wow. So November it's our... 14th? 17th uh, through 19th. 17th. Yeah, yeah, and it's in... Uh, yeah, it's... Philly. It's already bigger than South, basically, which surprised the hell yeah. out of us. We were at South, which was already big. And for being unplugged, uh, this is all tabletop. Yeah, games. it's all tabletop. Yeah. That's why we're so excited about it. Yeah. Are you guys going to be there? Uh, we will. I will. I will be there. I think some like Evil Hat isn't. Uh, uh, we don't have a huge commitment, but that definitely some of the Hatters. Yeah, yeah. We've got a pretty big booth. We've got a twenty by twenty. Nice. And nice. one of the things we've got tentative approval on is we're going to be able to put a desk in our booth, which we're going to be letting other indies cycle through oh, throughout the entire nice. con. Very cool. It, we're going to be giving everybody that that signs up a two hour slot. They'll be able to sit at mm -hmm. the desk, show off their game. They can't sell anything. We're not allowed to let them do that because sure. otherwise that's considered official booth sharing. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, they'll be able to do, do that, and we're also going to have some other board game streamers there as well. Cool. So, uh, oh, and uh, one quick more plug: uh, if you are, uh, if your win ratio in the Dresden Files cooperative game isn't quite what you want it to be, keep an eye out for the series of strategy articles from noted scholar yeah. Shannon Applecline. It's going to be coming out on the Evil Hat website in a few weeks. Yep. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank Bye. you for joining. Night.